Hey, what's up, guys? We are back at it again to show the best decks to reach Ultimate Champion this season. So, this season, the Knight is the meta. The Knight is everywhere. He's evolved. And it's cool to see common cards like the Knight actually get some respectable buffs. Where, you know, I don't think it was near as overpowered as the Firecracker before. Firecracker was used everywhere. The Knight wasn't. So, it's nice to see the Sir actually get some appreciation so that's why you know we're gonna be using them in a couple different decks today this magic archer deck with spear goblins and wall breakers it used to be running with valkyrie but after the night evolution yeah it's pretty freaking good so that's the deck that we're gonna be playing today we're gonna also be testing out some other ones as well but for the most part let's just hit ultimate champion and have fun you know that's the that's the goal if you guys are looking at where I'm at right now, it's early season. The easiest way to hit Ultimate Champion is play at the end of the season because all the good players have already gotten to Ultimate Champion at the start. Like, pros are rushing into it. You guys can see that the league is kind of full now. Um, it's really, really hard to hit Ultimate Champion the first days of the season. But as the season goes longer and longer, it progressively gets easier because better and better players all get to Ultimate Champion and they get out of the progression system to Ultimate Champion. You won't be playing against them on your rank up is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go Wallbreakers here at the start. This deck functions from a perspective of like using the Evolved Knight to body block for your Magic Archers, your Wallbreakers, and your Spear Goblins. So what that does is it allows you to get a lot more damage per second because the Evolved Knight is just going to be soaking up all the damage. 80% damage reduction, which is something that, you know, should not be possible. 80% damage reduction is pretty insane. I'm going to go for a Miner. I should probably hit it on the Mother Witch. It's totally fine, though. I, for whatever reason, decided not to do that. So, my bad. You can activate King Tower with the one piggy, and I probably should have, and then I should have dropped the knight directly on top. But, you know, I just kind of woke up, I rolled out of bed, and I was like, you know what? Let's take a shower, and then uh, play some Clash. So, not my best first game, but it don't matter, you know? Like, you ramp up as you go, and you can't be too hard on yourself when you're playing Clash. It's a game after all. Uh, I've been using this deck, and I'm four games off ultimates as CWC. Dude, let's go. You're pretty similar to me then, bro. We're, uh, we're brothers. All right, so I, I think that's going to blast the Mother Witch. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, it moved slightly. It moved slightly off to the side. That's weird. Well played. Yeah, I mean, hey, dude, it didn't, didn't work out as well as I wanted, but it is what it is. Let's make some massive outplays and see what we can do. Finally got a stream. Yes, sir. I have a lot of different stuff. Also, whenever you're running evolutions, you're best off just cycling the evolution in the back and then getting back to another one. So, like, we're going to drop it as fast as we can just to get to another evolution. We're dropping that knight immediately. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what else we can do. Just a warm up, big W's. Oh, dude, we haven't even come close to losing the game or anything like that. In fact, I would say we're winning because we're up Elixir. Like, he dropped the Dark Prince when I was dropping the Magic Archer, essentially, and I had a Knight on the field, so that's essentially a three Elixir advantage. Evil Barbs from our opponent. This Tornado could be spicy. I don't know how good it's going to be, but it's looking great, actually. Go for Spear Goblins here, and then go for an Evo Knight later. Definitely don't want to take any damage from that Dark Prince. <laughs> not going to lie. It's not going to be that bad, though. Okay, so the reason why I love Evo Knight is this reason. You guys are about to see it. So it's going to soak up all the damage for the Miner and all the damage for the Wall Breakers. And the Skeleton Dragons barely even touch it because the Evolved Knight right now is just not... It's not stagnant. When it's not um, just sitting there at the same time, then it's going to take less damage. So as you guys can see, if it's playing against Air Cards, the Air Cards are never going to get attacked by the Evo Knight, which is actually good for you that your Evo Knight can't kill it. So, hmm. He's just going to continuously go and drop Barbarians in the back. It's an interesting deck to say the least. We can go for a log here. We can go in for probably a miner. And then I also want to go in for Magic Archer here. So Magic Archer will line up with one of the Barbarians. I think that's worth it. And get Spear Goblins down here. And then get a Knight down. So then the, the Mother Witch targets that instead. Could have also activated King Tower. But I don't want to spend too much Elixir right now. Um, we'll see what else we can do. I think we're going to eat the damage on the other side. Go in for a log. Definitely want to go for a miner on defense. Miner on defense is kind of like a scuffed Knight. People just underrate it. It's not a bad strategy. Like if you have to, drop your Miners on defense all day. Um, just to be safe, you know? That's a, that's a good strat. Recycle our Evolved Knight again, and as you guys can see, like, the benefits of running decks in the meta that have quick card cycle pay off immediately. It's really hard to, uh, get bad trades with them. Alright, so, we're gonna go in for, uh, a Miner here, and then the Bomb Tower is able to clean up the rest of his stuff. I think that the Evo Knight isn't gonna give us what we want, but it is what it is. It's a really weird deck from our opponent, to be honest. Strangely, he is playing a deck that I was not aware of. Okay, wait, cool. Just do this. Activate King Tower. Finish that off. Going for a Miner here and then Log. I think we're to be A-OK. -okay. As long as I can kill the Mother Witch with the Log, then I think we're fine. And that's exactly what happens. Nice. So we can start to snipe that with the Magic Archer. Ooh, this is not looking as good as we want it to be. We get Spear Goblins down just to Body Block a little bit. And then we can go for a Knight. Wait, that was going to jump. And then it's going to hit the Knight. Nice. Let's go. Going to go in for um, a Mother Witch, though. So it's going to be slightly concerning for me. Just not the worst thing in the world. If I do anything else and I go for like a Miner, 
could be a problem, but it's okay. We can just go for a bomb tower here and then miner just to get some extra damage. I'm sorry that this game is taking a while, guys. I uh, do want to win it, though, so I'm just going to be making sure I play my best. Bomb tower as well. Let's go in for a tornado here. Fireball comes through. It doesn't really matter. But as you guys can see, like the Evolved Knight just works so much work. It does so much for us. All right, let's go for Magic Archer and line it up because he doesn't have Fireball right now. He's probably going to go in for Mother Witch, so let's do this. And then Tornado. I think we win. The Knight should hold everything in place, and then I think the Dark Prince is going to get destroyed, so it wouldn't be that bad. And okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not as good as we want. We go for a Bomb Tower here, and then a Log, and then a Tornado. I think the scariest thing for me is like having this uh, Dark Prince locked onto the tower or something like that, but... I got Evolved Knight, then I should be alright. Bomb Tower as well. We could go for another one. Oh man, he's actually coming down to the wire. Because if he fireballs or something, then Miner needs to do a lot of damage. So we're going to have to go for a Tornado here. I think we do win the game. Wow, that was way closer than I thought. But, you know, um, we'll take the dub. <laughs> Evolved Barbarians are a bit anno annoying. Especially when uh, people have, like, the Mother Witch and Skeleton Dragons. And have, like, an abundance of bait cards that require your, your Fireball. And you don't have a Fireball in your deck. And you have to use your Bomb Tower. Uh, especially since we don't have Valkyrie, like you would assume that that matchup would be really tough. But just with Bomb Tower, like it's more than enough, and you just use the use the Evolved Knight to soak up all the damage. So that was a good win. Let's bounce on the next one. Let's keep going. Great job, Jake. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Uh, also, thanks, guys, for complimenting my hair. Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's three o'clock in the afternoon here, man. Uh, well, I guess not really. Three o'clock in Eastern Time Zone, where I used to live, man. That's what I always say. I'm still Eastern Time Zone. I refuse to believe that I'm in Seattle, man. I refuse. Uh, being all these top 100 players when you're a YouTuber, how are you? Teach, how are you that good? Teach me. Well, I used to play professionally, and then I started playing less, just for more for fun, and uh, I got worse at the game. <laughs> so you don't want to take my trajectory of getting worse at Clash, but it is what it is. You know? Okay, so this is one of those matchups a lot of people complain about. They're like, how are you supposed to beat someone with this type of deck? What can you do? Well, hopefully I can show you. Try to pull back the Inferno Dragon. I'm going to tornado it again. Minimize the amount of damage, going for the NATO, going for one of these. Hopefully we can kill the Inferno Dragon and not worry about the game getting lost. Uh, we're kind of in a bad spot. I think I could have played that a lot better. Potentially like NATOing a little bit later so then we were able to kill all of the Lava Pups or do some extra damage to them. So like you learn from those type of mistakes and you're like, damn, I wish I played that better. I wish I, you know, tornadoed slightly later so I was able to damage down the Lava Pups. But the Knight in the other side was a super smart play, so I do stand by that. The Knight's going to give us some damage on the right, uh, right and left, so that was good. I'm going to go Breakers here on the right, and then I don't think he's going to do anything. I think he's just going to eat it. So maybe I can win it in a 2-1 victory. Because I'm doing a lot of damage in the aggregate, right? I've gotten a lot there on the right. I don't think this is that bad for us. All right, we're in Magic Archer. We're going to line it up, hopefully, with the Lava Hound. We'll have to wait and see if that works out. Uh, if I go Spear Goblins, maybe he ignores it. Probably goes Barbs or something. Oh, that actually hit my Magic Archer. That super sucks. Yeah, that's really sucky. Okay, so somehow I need to kill this. Uh, look at the Evolved Knight, though. Look at how much damage it's about to get. I'm going to go Wallbreaker's other side just to force out some extra elixir, so maybe he's going to be pressured to defend that. Yeah, if he goes arrows like that, then I think we could be okay with, like, a tornado. And then pulling all that in. And then going for Spear Goblins afterward. And then going for a Knight to go and pull everything back, like the Inferno Dragon. Yeah. Wait, did he have another spell, or did the Skeleton Dragons kill my Spear Goblins? Because that's uh, a huge issue if the Spear Goblins just did that. All right, we're gonna do this. Let's go Magic Archer. Let's go Wall Breakers probably and split them so then the Skeleton Dragons don't give us too much grief. Let's immediately pull this directly in. The other side. One Wall Breaker will connect. Fireball comes down. That's kind of tilting. All right, we're gonna go for a Miner here with the Spear Goblins. 30 seconds left. He's just gonna go Arrows and miss. I mean, the Lava Hound probably won't take my tower, but I mean, even if I take two towers, I needed to play this better because I'm just not gonna be able to um, not gonna be able to do much more than that. All right, we can Magic Archer directly down the middle and probably get tower? Question mark? I don't know, guys. I mean, all right, we take it. <laughs> Not looking that good. Because <laughs> in this type of situation, you don't want to be in a spot where your opponent has a lead. Like, you want to you wanna have all of your towers left over still. Or, like, one tower left over still, at least. All right, let's just try this and see what we can do. All right, we're going to have to use the Evolved Knight and then go in for another Knight and then probably get Spear Goblins down here. Uh, I don't think this is going to work, but I have to try, you know? Can't just give up. 
Maybe both wall breakers connect and I get super lucky, but I'm kind of on a timer right now, if you guys can't tell. Yeah, I think I lost. So I could have played this a little bit better and maybe won, but as you guys see, like, even playing against someone with a Lava Hound Miner deck with Inferno Dragon, and, like, a lot of air cards, like Skeleton Dragons and Fireball, and, like, I mean, he had a really good answer to our deck. I could have played that better and won, right? Hypothetically, like, you know, Fireball, Miner, that definitely does kill the Magic Archer, so the Magic Archer's kind of useless. Um, but if I'd played a little bit better, I would have beaten him, and one of the things I just want to highlight really quick, always learning from my mistakes, always trying to get better, um, instead of just saying, oh, matchup, oh, I can't believe I did anything, that Knight on the other side super smart, because it baits out the Goblins, right? And then that Tornado could have just been a little bit better. Let's just rewatch it really quick. This tornado really quick. You, if I tornadoed slightly later, I think I would have been fine, and then I would have killed. Uh, I would have done more damage to lava pups. So could have been a bit different, but it is what it is. He also played it well, decisively going in for the minor plus arrows. Like this guy was a good player. So close game. Uh, just wanted to highlight again the pressure of the knight in the other side and how impactful that was. All right, on to the next one. I'm so bad with this deck. Ah, dude, if you're bad with the deck, you'll get better with it. No worries, man. Your volume is fairly low. Oh, okay. Let's fix that. Uh, it shouldn't be that bad. It shouldn't be that bad. Let's just like have the mic really close to my face. Um, probably probably because I wasn't really talking very loudly. <laughs> my bad. My bad. All right, we're gonna go for wall breakers here. We'll see if we can cook a little bit. You guys know the deal. Uh, Royal Ghost will give us an easy King Tower activation. The Mother Witch isn't that big of a deal. We could also activate King Tower with that, but I prefer to not deal with the Ghost. So let's go and turn into that instead. And then the Knight should be able to tank for the Mother Witch, which is very, very big for us. We go for Minor plus Spear Goblins. Man, there's so much I can do right now. Limitless potential. <laughs> oh, it's a Sparky deck. Well, that's generally not an easy matchup, but since we've got Evolved Knight, it is. Evolved Knight tanks Sparky shots like it's his job. You just drop it really far away so then the Knight isn't attacking anything, so then the mitigation goes through, and the Sparky just tickles the Knight. It's so fun to do. It's probably my favorite strategy in this, uh, in this realm that we can do, so... Let's do this and then go for a bomb tower here obviously the goblin giant is going to give us some grief but it is what it is let's go for wall breakers here as well make sure that the sparky whiffs and only hits one of them oh dang that sucks please magic archer nice cool i'm proud of you magic archer let's go <laughs> uh i remember ian and a lot of other people struggling with this matchup whenever they're running valkyrie and like losing it four or five times in a row i was like wait if some of the best players in the world lose this matchup all the time what am i supposed to do and then i was like wait evolve knight it makes the matchup actually easy when it was miserable before it's really refreshing to have a matchup that you should always lose and then you change one card out and then it makes the matchup winnable or not even winnable but in your favor right kind of crazy to think about so no i'm vibing with it we're gonna go for the evolved knight here i mean i already did it right that it's not really like i'm doing it again like i don't know why i commentate like that guys i commentate in the um, present tense when i did it before <laughs> i love it i love it all right we're just gonna go in for this we'll go for wall breakers and then I think the wall breakers are just going to soak up a lot of damage. I don't know if that was smart or not. I kind of want to just kill the Sparky. So I was like, maybe I can just activate King Tower and not care as much and log. Yeah, that's pretty good. Honestly, like all things considered, he doesn't have anything for the wall breakers. So, I mean, <laughs> it's good for me. I'll take it. He's going to go for an evolved knight. Wait, what? Okay, sir. Like this, this doesn't make sense, man. What are you doing out here? Why are you copy my tactics? All right, let's just go Palm Tower here. Let's go Magic Archer. Uh, let's do one of these and just finesse it, you know? It's pretty funny that this guy decided to run this deck of all things. An Evolve Knight Sparky deck. I feel like... You guys let me know as well. But when there's a new card in the meta, everyone sees it and they're like, I need it. Is that just human nature? Does human nature always want new things? Guys, why, are, why do we have this unquenchable thirst for, for learning new things and also figuring out new things and being a part of new things? Why can we never be satisfied? Watch the Evolved Knight, though. It's not taking any damage. That was a Sparky shot. It did nothing. It did nothing twice. It's tickling it. Now it will do a lot of damage because the, the Knight's move, uh, stopped moving. Um, and it started attacking. But when the Knight isn't attacking, that's when you get all of your value. And then when the Knight's moving forward and your opponent has to counter the Wall Breakers and the Magic Archer and the Miner. And then they're like, wait, I have to also attack the stupid Knight because then it's not going to take any damage. Like, there's just so many funny things about this deck that make it an overwhelming offense. So I would highly, highly encourage you guys to pick it up if you wanted to play. But I think is the best deck in the game right now um, for the Evolved Knight department. I think that, you know, Evolved Knight, great card, really fun card. Probably not going to be nerfed that much, and it's it's a vibe. Yo, Connor, thanks for the $2, man, and hopefully you're having a good day, bro. I love seeing the vibes. Also, Water Sign, thank you for the $1 as well. Appreciate it. Uh, he swapped Mini Packer for Evo Knight. 
Yeah, he really did. That's not a smart strat. I mean, the mini pack of functions with Sparky, so you can go and kill like Electro Wizards and stuff. Um, it doesn't make sense. How do you feel about Clash with Ash leaving? Um, he's not leaving. He's just, you know, doing his own thing and doing the videos that he wants, right? I think that's good for him, you know? You should never be pressured to create content the way that you don't want to. So, like for me too, if I don't enjoy what I'm doing, I'm going to make changes and I'll make adjustments. That's how it should be in life. You should never stay with something or a passion, a person, a, a situation that you're not happy with. I mean, sometimes it's important to stay through it and like, grow a little bit and really figure out is is this something that's transitory is this something that's going to pass but a lot of times you know if it's not you just you move on and that's how it should be man and that's how it will be for a lot of you guys and also just in, in clash too like if your deck isn't working and you're struggling and you're really frustrated sometimes it's nice to like learn different types of decks and evolve with the meta obviously that's not always the case but it's something to keep, to keep in mind Alright, we're gonna go for a log here. I meant to um pull back the miner. Or not the miner, the knight. Wow, that, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> he even gave me the well played. <laughs> so I went for a pre-log trying to like get him to drop a unit on top of the wall breakers and hit the princess at the same time. Obviously, that did not work. I kind of fumbled the bag there, guys. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie, but hopefully y'all will still love me regardless. Alright, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna go in for a knight. We can also go in for like a miner. Lots of different things at our disposal. I think I go minor here and just see if we can cook a little bit. Maybe tornado, depending on what we're feeling. Yeah, let's tornado the evolved knight, and then oh, that sucked. You can give me another well played. I can sense it. I can sense it, guys. I can sense it. Okay, uh, that's also not good for us. Go spear goblins because uh, I think I want to log, and I was right. <laughs> I really did want to log that, didn't I? Because obviously, if we don't, oh my gosh, no, how many, how many hits? How many hits? Oh my gosh. Dude, I... Oh my goodness. Dude. That hurt. So, yeah, if you don't have Elixir for the Evolved Knight, <laughs> it, it doesn't take damage and it basically like gets on top of tower guaranteed, then it's a problem. Alright, let's do this. Man. Really predictable plays for me, but it is what it is. Wait, this is not that bad because I want it to not be bad. <laughs> Wait, the Magic Crusher is still alive. Um, there's some silver linings here, maybe. All right, we're going to go for this. Go Magic Crusher again. Try to, like, pierce through. I don't know. Not looking good. He should be able to rocket me at any point. I will not be able to hit that Prince. Oh, never mind. Light work. Light work, boys. Yeah, I lose. <laughs> so, if the knight didn't do 10 million damage to my tower, I think I would have won this match. <laughs> if I didn't miss the knight at the start, and I didn't, um, if I didn't miss the knight at the start, and I didn't let the evolved knight do that amount of damage, I would have won the match. I can't believe a knight was a win condition for this guy. Anyway, beside the point, we move on to the next one. Uh, balance card, hey, I lost the game because I let a knight lock on my tower and missed the pull. I wasn't paying attention at the start. I lost a lot. Um... Sometimes it's time to... Oh, audio. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Is the audio messed up still? Let me know, guys. Sometimes that does happen. Sometimes that does happen. Is the audio is the audio better now or was it... I just turned it off. Um, you guys let me know. You let me know if the audio is okay now. Skill issue? Oh, yeah. Definite skill issue. 100%. I don't... I don't. It's not? So I turned the audio off. I turned the audio off. It's been good. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I got trolled. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I guess... Um, in the chat, always let me know if the audio is like super messed up or something so that I can fix it. If not, then it is what it is. Or if you guys see other people saying it, let me know if it is messed up or not so then I actually know. Alright, we gotta go log here. Gotta go wall breakers, go and kite those back. Fear Goblin's coming up clutch. Wow, I played so well there. Get on my level. <laughs> Alright guys, I think I played that pretty well. Not gonna lie, that defense was clean. The wall breakers pull, the uh, spear goblins, everything about it was good. I vibe with that. All right, so I'm trying to think of like what I want to do right now because obviously against graveyard players, you definitely don't want to go same side the entire time. So I might be better off just starting to go other lane. So then uh, if he goes in for defense, then he's not going to get counter pushed in the side that he wants. But like, let's say he goes in for a baby dragon to counter this knight or whatever. But it's not going to go in the lane that he wants at all. So that's a vibe. He doesn't have bar barrel. So I'm just going to do this. And then I guess I go in for a knight on top of the baby dragon. Kind of hopeful that he would do that. Poison, that's weird. <laughs> I don't I don't agree. I don't agree, sir. 
All right, so the knight's going to probably lock. Wow, what is he doing? That's crazy to me. All right, we're going to tornado this back, and then we're going to try to just use log and bomb tower, I think. And I should be okay. Yeah, let's just do this. Wait, I might be dead. I think I'm dead, actually. But I don't think I can kill all the skeletons. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I'm good. All right. Somehow that worked out, guys. Not going to lie. That was really scary. All right. So we got to go for Evolved Knight here so then it can tank. And then we can maybe go in for a Miner here. And then he doesn't have Skeleton King because he dropped it at the river, remember? It was a really easy Ice Wizard prediction. Just do this. Go for probably like wall breakers in the back, honestly. Like not even a cap. I don't think that's a bad decision. Just do this, and then Magic Archer, and then NATO. Oh, he used his own NATO. He knew. He knew. <laughs> he didn't want to mess with me. He's like Jake. I know exactly what you're gonna try to do here. I don't want this to happen. I don't appreciate it. All right. Go Spear Goblins. Let's go in for a Knight. Going for another Miner here. If the Magic Archer wins that, that would be huge. You end up killing that. So there's there's something. I mean, we can still cook. We, are, we can still cook. We might still be able to cook. All right, we're going to Magic Archer here, finish off all that stuff. Pretty bad poison if you ask me, but maybe you're not asking me. I don't know. Imagine if the Phoenix like pushed it out of the way. That would have been pretty crazy. We're trying to keep his Elixir low, and also going opposite lane is just so important in this matchup. Otherwise, we would guarantee lose. All right. Wait, I messed it up. Oops. Alright, let's do this. Go wall breakers to kite this back so then I don't have to spend as much. Oops. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I think that we're okay. I think I can just go for a log and a miner and then go in for a tornado on whatever he does. Pull his ice wizard or whatever. Just pull it back. GG! We did it. I'm so impressed, guys. We were down so much and we made a comeback. So it shows you the power of like having a, a thoughtful purpose of going into the match and have played it before so you know what you're supposed to do, right? I knew I need to go opposite side. And uh, the defense again, let's take a look. I think it was clean. You guys let me know. That's so satisfying to me. Winning games like that, I don't know. I, I, I really love Clash Royale from that department, right? But this defense, pretty tough. He ended up tornadoing, which is so smart. Look at that placement again. This guy was not a bad player. Like, I dropped my Magic Archer on the other side because I don't want to give him too much poison value. And he tornadoes the Magic Archer into the Bomb Tower, so the Bomb Tower and the Magic Archer both get hit by the Skeleton King. That was an S-tier play. That was really smart. That was super smart. And then we were able to pull back the Skeleton King, and it didn't even hit my Wall Breakers. And the Spear Goblins clean everything up. And then both Wall Breakers connect. So then he's like, wait, he's definitely going to go left. And then I made the adjustment later in the game. I was like, you know what? If I continue to go same side, maybe my Magic Archer will get destroyed and stuff like that. You know, counter push. But I want you guys to look at one thing. The entire game, all of his counter pushing stuff on the right hand side, it didn't matter that much. I made a really good play knowing that he wouldn't end up having Skeleton King anymore in his cycle because he wasn't able to have it in his hand since he had already dropped it at the river. So I minored in the safe spot knowing that he wouldn't be able to stop it and he would just go for an Ice Wizard. And then the Ice Wizard obviously is not going to do so well. So he had to drop more Elixir. But all these units that he was dropping on the right hand side, he was getting nothing out of it. He was literally playing my game. My tower was at 700 HP. His was at like a, almost 2,000, right? Or over 2,000 at one point. And we still made a comeback and won. Like that was such a good win. So yeah, as you guys can see, be relentless with your aggression. Be purposeful. Don't allow them to get Elixir advantage. And then just keep spamming in the other side. And then eventually, they're going to get annoyed to the point that you win. That's the strats, guys. That's the vibes. GG's. Best replacement for Tornado? Well, you can't really replace Tornado. You'd have to use, like, Musketeer and also Poison. Poison or Fireball instead of Tornado. Musketeer instead of Magic Archer and then Poison or Fireball instead of uh, Tornado. It completely changes how the deck is played, though. It'd be more so like a Minor Poison Wallbreakers deck, which still works. It's still a really good deck. All right, let's uh, go and collect this, and then let's keep going. So we have, like, four or five more games. No big deal. No rush or anything. Also, let's go and show you guys another deck. This deck has Fireball Bait with the Barbarians, the Skeleton Dragons, and then also the Elixir Collector and the Electro Dragon. So uh, this one, you just kind of get Elixir Advantage, and then you steamroll your opponent. Can you please give us a new friend link? Yeah, I'll check it out afterwards. I'll check it after. I've never had so much success with a deck um, with this one, but with Royal Ghost. Don't deny it until you try. I play it more than like a Bridge Bam deck. Uh, so I, I would typically not deny until I try, but I know for a fact if you do not have a Knight or a Valkyrie in the deck, you cannot defend. Like, that is very definitive. 
you have to have a knight or a valkyrie in the deck in that last deck with magic archer otherwise your defense is going to be abysmal and if your opponent spams bridge bam and you're dropping a royal ghost and the royal ghost doesn't get down in time the royal ghost isn't seen and then you can't cut units to the middle like the entire point of that fast cycle deck is to make sure that you can make plays like that and it wouldn't always be possible so something to consider um i think we're gonna do this and we're gonna tornado everything i just want to kill the ice golem so then it's a little bit easier to uh activate king tower here nice wait do we do a double pull <gasps> no it didn't work it got pulled by the goblin cage that sucks all right but with the king tower activated do i lose my entire tower i might i don't know <laughs> so if i got the bar barrel down um and it pulled like the inferno dragon to the other side we wouldn't have taken any of that damage but since his goblin cage brawler was going here my bar barrel which would have went in the right hand side went back so the inferno dragon stayed on the tower it was a little bit unfortunate a little bit unlucky but that's Clash Royale for you. Sometimes um, there's just small, minute interactions that go in your opponent's favor. All right, I bet you goes in for a minor. Uh, that was kind of a battle elixir collector for me. But at the same time, what if I go Barbarians here and bait out the the Bomb Tower? And then, oh, he's got Fireball. Wow. I did not expect that. So I, I'm actually mystified by this guy's deck. Man, you got like Fireball, Miner, Balloon, Inferno Dragon. Oh man, that's crazy. Anyway, that's beside the point. I know that I have to go for a Golem here. I'm going to try to protect the left-hand tower and we'll see if we can just take his fully. Um, definitely going to be an interesting spot. Uh, I bet you he just focuses up, up on defense, but we're up a lot of Elixir. Uh, I want to go for an Electro Dragon first so I can get to another one because he's probably going to Fireball. And we want to go in for an Inferno Dragon counter with the Electro Dragon. Lumberjack here just to go and kill the Ice Golem and see if we can cook a little bit. All right, so we're going to do this. Resetting that is nice. And then we got to go for Evolve Barbarians on the other side because we know he's going to Fireball. So I don't want him to be able to Fireball on the Evo Barbs and also Electro Dragons and everything on the other side. So we want to do Dual Lane Pressure. It's just generally the way to win. If your opponent does have only one spell, then they're going to have a huge problem. So let's go Barbarrel here as well and just see if we can get some extra damage. Trying to get as many tanks as we possibly can. Also going to go in for the Tornado with the Lumberjack and the Electro Dragons, and then... Oof, didn't do enough. Did not do enough, guys. Alright, well... Let's see what we can do. I chance he fireballs, but if he doesn't, then I guess that's also pretty okay. I mean, we still have an Electro Dragon counter pushing at him. That was a bad Ice Golem, in my opinion. He's going to fireball for sure. Yep, that's what I would have done, too. We can go Barbs at the River, but... I think it's just better to do this. If I can defend this, then I will win, but I don't know if I can. I don't think I can get enough elixir, guys. No, I can't. I had to tornado first. I think if I tornado first in the middle, I might have been able to make it happen. Because the balloon um, would have probably died to the king tower activation, right? I don't know if the damage of the balloon death damage would have done enough, though. It's so hard to say. Anyway, let's we'll jump on to the next one. Uh, do you prefer to be called Sir or Tag or Jake or Sir Tag? <laughs> You're giving me too many options, man. It's option overload out here. Right now, I'm like going to the ice cream store and you guys are giving me like 25 different samples, bro. I, you know, I'm just a simple Sir. I Just call me Jake, bro. Just call me Jake. I, I, I Honestly, if you guys see me in real life, always call me Jake. Never call me Sir Tag, all right? Um, and it'll make me happy to see you guys as well. Also, in uh, online, you can call me Sir Tag or Jake or whatever. It doesn't matter, man. You gotta be Sir Jake. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys are giving me a high standard out here. Super high standards. You have a favorite football team? Okay, so here's the issue with asking me, do you have a favorite football team? Football could be soccer. It could also be, um, you know, regular football that everyone else calls. You let me know, bro. You let me know what you're what you're saying because I can't pick up what you're putting down until you actually like let me know I I uh, objectively what it is. I guess. Yeah. You're the goat at this game, says Cat Miss uh, Cat McMuffin. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate you. Uh, will you do a video with Austin? Uh, deck because it works for some reason. Maybe I don't know. Um, I try not to do videos on other people's decks and stuff like that, just because I kind of like doing my own thing. If that makes sense. I personally, if I create content on someone else's stuff, why would uh, it be special, right? I like uh, creating content on my own decks. Sometimes I'll create decks, uh, videos on decks that other people are like using at the top of the leaderboard but um you know other content creators i typically stay away from their type of content try not to do their same thing 
the one thing to keep in mind, guys, in this type of situation, I just want to go Golem in the back on the same side as the Mega Knight. I genuinely don't even care what happens because I know that I win this matchup in the later stage of the game. If you know, hey, I have a good matchup, Golem versus Mega Knight, I will stack up Electro Dragons in the later spot of the game and he can't win. He literally can't stop it. The Electro Dragon just kills everything. So that's the strategy and that's what we want to work towards. So let's get there and let's not mess up along the way. If he wants to Fireball, that's fine. It doesn't matter. If he wants to go and give us like Evo Barbs here, because now the Mega Knight's dead. I think we're in a pretty good spot. I mean, maybe he goes back for another Mega Knight. I hope not, but he doesn't have Fireball in Cycle, so this is going to be hard for him. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a really bad spot for him to be in. Because he's going to lose a lot of tower damage. He's going to lose his Mini P.E.K.K.A. And he has to Mega Knight again and go all in. Wait, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to go in front. <laughs> oh, no, that's so bad for him. <laughs> Yo, it went from uh, worse to even worse. We can Tornado and Barbaro here, so. No worries. All right, everything dies and we just go Golem and we win. Um, that's the strategy. I, I mean, hypothetically, I think it's a little bit better to go another Elixir Collector just because I have the choice to. Like, if you can get further and further ahead, then you really accentuate your lead and then you guarantee the dub. Like, he's got to go Fireball on these barbs, but it's not something that's smart to do. So, I mean, let's just see what happens. Spear Goblins are going to give him damage, but now he's dead. We've got two Elixir Collectors and a decisive Elixir Advantage and a Golem coming down at my opponent. There's no chance he wins. This is going to be one of the funniest offenses you guys will ever see. But yeah, we're just going to go and do this immediately. We're going to say goodbye to the Firecracker. It's going to get bopped. It's not going to be stopped. And then we go Barbarian's other side. And now we just unveil everything. Because he has the Fireball on both sides. He's down so much Elixir. He literally has three Elixir and he's trying to defend this. That's insane. Like, I don't I don't know what you're supposed to do, bro. I I couldn't tell you. I, I don't know. I don't think Muhammad Light could stop this in this situation. It's just not possible. There's too much crap. <laughs> and uh, you just don't have the recipe to create the dish that you need. GG. So as you guys can see, once you're confident with the deck, you can go down like to 1,000 HP and just know 100% that you're going to win. Um, that's one of those things that I really like about playing decks that I'm confident with because I've been playing them for a while. Best way to get a Evo as a free-to-play. Uh, well, you should be doing the challenges every single time that there's a new challenge. Um, you should be grinding them. Because it ends up giving you, uh, it gives you seasonal tokens, which you can spend in the shop to get an even uh, Evo evolution thing. Yeah. Um, never go Golem in the back first play or anything like with this deck. You can go for a Barbarian split uh, or just wait for your opponent to make the first play. Or you could cycle something and try to get to your Elixir Collector if you see your Elixir Collector in your hand. Yo, JT, let's go. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, my man. Thank you so, so much. Wow. Guys, by the way, I'm trying to figure out where I want to be um, soon. Like, I don't know where I want to, where I'm going to be living soon. So I'm actually really excited and nervous. And uh, yeah, I, I I can't say anything other than that. I'm super, super excited and nervous right now. So yeah, we'll see how it works. Anyway, I don't have a good answer to the miner. Oh, no, never mind. I don't care now. I was going to use my tornado on top of the miner and then like pull it to the king tower. Because uh, he was definitely going to drop the miner on the Elixir Collector. But yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to move, where I'm going to be, and I'm really excited and nervous about that, so that's nice. Move to Canada? No, 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 I'm staying in Seattle. I'm still staying around here. I just don't know what apartment complex I'm going to be in. So yeah, it's going to be nice. Uh, do you only react if we donate? No, I mean, I'm watch. Case in point, I just read your message, right? And you didn't donate. Hope you and your girlfriend are doing amazing. Oh, uh, we broke up a while back, so uh, I didn't talk about it because I didn't really want to... Uh, well, I did talk about it, like, the future streams, but yeah, you must have missed it. Or, or I, I, I talked about it uh, streams other than that, but, uh, yeah, you must have missed it. But essentially, man, like, sometimes, you know, great people just don't end up uh, working out together because of different uh, prioritizations or different, um, I guess, different values or what? I don't know how to say it. Like, either interests or values or different things that they want, right? That totally does happen. Bro, mute him? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. But, yeah, that's one of those things that I, uh, I went through... And it was, you know, it was, it was a good thing. It was a good thing that it happened. Sorry to hear, man. On to better things in life. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, that's the way that I like to look at things. Um, oh, man, I missed that. <laughs> oh, man. I missed the minor. I just, uh, I must have misclicked that. All right, we got to we gotta win this game. We got to make a bounce back. I'm sorry, guys. We, we were not very focused. I've won this matchup many times before, but yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Give me the Barbarians. But we can do what we want. I love you laugh. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I love laughing in general. I just love having a good time. Um. Alright, we go for this. 
But yeah, I didn't want to talk about anything like that publicly because I felt like that was one of those things that, uh, you know, you just kind of like, you don't really talk about it until it's like, uh, it's been go done for a bit, you know? I don't, that's one of those things that you just don't talk about or, uh, I don't know. I, I didn't want to, um, have dumb, or have, talk about it in a different way is basically what I'm trying to say. Generally, like, whenever, um, emotional things happen to me, I always try to talk about them later on on stream. No matter what it is, I, I just think that that's the better way to do it. Anyway, GG and well played our opponent. We'll jump on the next one. I hate Expo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a pro player. Dope shirt. Thanks, man. I love this shirt. It's one of my favorite. Uh, why don't you make this your main deck? Well, Rail Recruits Rail Hogs is actually my main deck. It's pretty fun. Dream life? How's your personal life and what's your name? My name's Jake. My personal life is actually really good. Um, for the past, like, I don't know, like, month or so, I've been working out a lot more. Um, vibes have been good, you know, like... Being able to work out and surround yourself with friend groups that are like, I don't know, um, like, how do I say, like, I'm trying new things, they're forcing me out of my element. Like, I played pickleball for the first time with my friends, and I thought I wouldn't like it. I thought I would never want to play it. And then after touching it and playing it, I was like, wait, I can't stop playing this. It's one of the best, uh, one of the best sports ever. Let me see the gains, Brody. You will, man. You will see the gains. I won't be a twig anymore soon. <laughs> I mean, I still work out like I used to work out, and I still am very uh, thin and kind of fit, but like I want more muscle. Shout out, sir. Yes, sir. That's one of my goals, bro. Anyway, getting back to business, let's let's focus up because I have not been very focused. All right, we're not going to miss our tornado like we did last time. We're going to go for a barbarian barrel here. We should be able to clean up the phoenix, ideally. Very nice. It's going for a Lumberjack because I want to be able to kill the RG, and then I also want to get to another Elixir Collector. Getting two Elixir Collectors will be probably the important thing for us to win this game. I don't see any other universe because, like, if I do anything other than going for Elixir Collectors, um, I think I get Steamrolled. He's going to Fireball on that and hit the Barb hit. It's not going to take my tower because it doesn't get the second hit. It only gets one. But right now our opponent doesn't have a good card hand to defend this because he doesn't have Fireball in Cycle, so we can stack up a lot of stuff, and he's down a lot of Elixir. So, I think this might be a bit risky, but this is how we're going to play. I also was probably better off going in for... Yeah, is that going to take my tower and hit the Elixir Collector? I guess so. Wait, he activated... Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter if he activates King Tower, though. Hmm. Use Fireball, too, right? So, let's go Electro Dragon and then just chain onto his stuff. And then see if we can go Barb and Lumberjack. Reason why I'm not playing so foolish with my Elixir is because I want to go for the Evo Barbs when I get the chance. All right, we're going to try a Tornado. That was a phenomenal Fireball. This guy just outplayed me. He definitely just outplayed me. I mean, the Golem's going to do a bunch of damage, but that... I would have been better off using the Tornado and Barbaril uh, Elixir and putting that towards something else. For instance, if I had done it, Tornado and Barbaril, um, if I had done Evo Barbs on the other side, that would have been amazing. I bet you he goes, yeah, Evo Royal Giant right into Evo Barbs. So this could be good. I mean, if he fireballs, then it's not, but like... Still not the worst thing in the world, right? Probably clean this all up. Go in for an Electro Dragon, and then figure things out afterwards. I think I lose all my towers, though. Yeah, this was a bad game on my end. This guy just played really, really well. Also, he's in a CSL clan, so I don't know if this guy is, like, a pro player or something. Um, I'll have to take a look at his profile, because he played really, really well. But this guy played extremely well. Impressively so. He also has a great deck. So, this was the one game today where I was like, I think I genuinely just got outplayed like crazy. Um, the other games, I think I could have won. I think this guy might just be better than me, though. Anyway, we'll jump on to the next one. Um, I'll focus up on the next one. I should have won the last one. I should have won the last one. My bad about that. What card would you like to see get an evolution and why? Uh, Royal Recruits, because it's my main deck in Clash Royale. <laughs> focus, bro. Hey, dude, I try to focus for sure, but at the same time, you got to understand. I want to have fun playing Clash Royale. It's not just a job to me. This is something that I really enjoy doing. So just keep that in mind. This guy, I should have probably beat, but... Oh, wait. So this guy that we just lost to, the Shanks guy... He finished 500 in the world and 33 in the world. So, no, he was actually better than me at the game, and I wasn't even focusing. That's kind of crazy. This guy was also insanely good. This guy played so well. Anyway, we lost to two people in a row. One guy was 33 in the world, and then the other guy was insanely good, too. Anyway, on to the next one. How are you so good with so many different decks? I play them a lot. All right, we're fully focused for this match. I promise you guys, no mediocre. We're going to bounce back. I'll read chat after this game. Let's dominate. Uh, did you get a haircut? It looks nice. Yeah, I did. I got a haircut. Um, that's what I like to do, man. I like I like getting those haircuts. I like feeling fresh. I like feeling good about myself. Um, I don't know. It's just the vibe, you know? 
taking care of yourself is important. Um, I'll never stop doing that. I, one thing that I, I did, uh, one, so one thing is like after you like lose friendships or relationships or anything like that, you get a lot more time back, right? So I looked at myself and I'm like, what did I miss out on? What, what was the, one of the main things? I did not work out or do a lot of the things that I wanted to. So that was like uh, one of the big things that now I have a lot more time for. So um, I'm kind of excited to work out a lot more is basically what I'm trying to say. And uh, take care of myself to a different degree than I was before. That's nice. I'm super, super stoked. Or I have been doing that. And I've been noticing that. I've been getting more improvements from that. Um, but yeah, that was like one of my big benefits. Um, anyway, getting back to the game here. He's going to lose the Goblin Cage Brawler. And then we can go for Skeleton Dragons on the Fly Machine. This is one of those matchups that if we're able to stack up a lot of stuff, we will win. Uh, where will you live? Uh, and hello from Finland. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Finland is actually a pretty cool place. Except the one thing I dislike about Finland is everything closes at like 5 p.m. There's nothing available. Like, for real, there's really nothing there. It's crazy to me. Anyway, we're going to go in for the, the aggressive golem since we have Evo Barbs and we're up Elixir. So the reason why I do this is because he goes for Goblin Cage. That's not going to apply pressure. So he's forfeiting his offensive advantage. And if he goes in, then we just drop our Evo Barbs and we kill the Royal Hogs anyway. So it's not like he can do it. Hard for people to defend this push anyway. Go in for the Electro Dragon and Lumberjack. It's generally my favorite play is Electro Dragon Lumberjack. Just because it's like more spell resistant. If he fireballs, it's fine. Um, yeah, should still do some damage. At least killing the Zappies. But he's going to go Heal Spirit. That was a really smart Heal Spirit. This guy is a good player. Like, I'm actually really impressed by him. That was that was great gameplay. Really good gameplay sense. But he doesn't have Fireball. Oh! I might be dead. Yeah, I might be dead. I don't think I can defend those. They just do so much. Like, I'm trying to stop him from, like, taking my Elixir Collector out. But, yeah. That's a nuisance, bro. That, that was that was unsavory. Okay, we're going to go and drop this here. And I think we can just defend this and then maybe make something happen. But I bet you he goes Fireball, Zappy's Goblin Cage, and wins. This guy just outplayed me like crazy. Wow. We were playing against some really, really, really good players. I'm telling you right now, I'm usually top 1,000 to 2,000 in the world at the end of the season. I'll show you guys my profile in case you are new here or you don't know who I am. Um, these players that I'm playing against right now or at an entirely different level. This guy, every decision that he made was insanely good. He's getting well played. The Fireball arrow setup was awesome. The heal spirit with the zappies. Like, you can't even be mad when you're playing against people that good. You can't even. For real. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll just go back to playing the Night Evo. But, yeah, this guy again, 871 in the world. He's better than me, right? This guy's just better than me. So, best season, 871 in the world. Last season, 1,200. So playing against people early season, as I said before, sometimes you do play against people really, really good. But yeah, the um, last season I didn't have time to play. I was doing a lot of stuff with um, where was I going to live? What, what am I doing? That type of stuff, like trying to figure out time with my family. Um, There's a lot of things that I was doing at the end of the last season. Um, But yeah, I, my, seat, my rank is typically 1,800 in the world or around there. So really well played on him. Flex, yo, Gladiator, you got to stop spamming the same thing. Don't do that. Um, no P.E.K.K.A. BS is terrible in this match. Yeah, P.E.K.K.A. is pretty bad. Uh, Alright, Gladiator. Um, yeah, it's one of those things, bro. Don't do that in the future. We're going to go in for a bar barrel here, and then uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, uh, we need the best deck with Evolution. Um, I don't, I don't have too many amazing decks without Evolutions, just because they're such strong cards. One of the issues with it. It's like, if a card is so strong, I don't want to be disingenuous and lie to you guys and be like... Yo, run run this deck without it. Like, there are evolutions that um, aren't necessarily needed. Like, skeletons aren't necessarily always needed. Uh, but typically, like, Evolved Barbarians, super big difference compared to the regular ones. How much do you bench? Uh, I bench my own body weight. Bench my own body weight. That's what I've always been able to do. So, <laughs> I should probably be able to bench more. A little bit embarrassed, but it is what it is. I'm right, gonna go Barbrill here on the Princess so we don't have to spend as much Elixir. Let's focus up because we've lost a lot of games in a row. We gotta win this one. Hopefully we don't match into someone ten times better than me. You know that's kind of the kind of the mentality that we want right now. <laughs> Let's play against someone a little bit easier. You know, a little bit more light work. You think Golem is an A tier card? No, Golem is like B tier. It's uh, pretty good, but it's not necessarily like the best card in the game, and it only works with certain stuff. So. Alright, we're gonna go Evo Barbs here. I think that we were able to kill the Valkyrie with that. And then maybe Tornado in a Dark Goblin or Princess into the Evo Barbs. So I'm trying to get an Elixir advantage. Okay, those Skeletons are bad for him. 
Those don't do anything. Pretty sure they're just dead. They're like the skeleton dragons at least. Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe it was worth it. No, it actually did end up cleaning up Evo Barb, so I guess they were worth on defense. Kind of interesting though. Try to cycle so I can go and kill the princess. The lumberjack will kill it. We don't get much out of it, but it is what it is. I guess I overspent. Yeah, I definitely overspent there. Directly on the tower, so we're just going to Barb Barrel. Uh, I don't have Skeleton Dragons, so when he goes in for his spam with Skeleton Barrel, it's going to be a bit annoying. The Electro Dragon, I actually don't know this interaction. I've never really done this before. I don't know how well the Electro Dragon does. Hopefully pretty well. Alright, let's Lumberjack. Whew, that was not great. Uh, let's go Skeleton Dragons here. Maybe Barb Barrel on the Goblin Barrel. And we got to go Golem. Like, that's what I've realized. I got to go Golem, otherwise I'm dead. Uh, I have one more shot to go Golem. That's it. I have one more good... Go I have one Golem push in my in my arsenal here. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We should have enough Elixir for it. With the Barb Barrel on the left-hand side, we'll clean up the Princess if I need to. Actually, directly on the tower again. I don't agree with that play on his end, so that's good. I mean, I agree with it for us, but definitely not for him. go Evo Barbs here. And now let's go Lumberjack on the other side with the Electro Dragon and just see if we can cook a little bit. See, this is a super smart uh, Dark Goblin. I don't know if I can win, but I hope that the Evo Barbs and the left do it. Okay, so he lost the, uh, yeah, he lost the Skeletons. They didn't completely clean up the Evo Barbs like they did before. I still think he would have lost the game anyway in the right because the Dark Goblin got hit by the Electro Dragon. Electro Dragon stayed alive at like zero HP. But yeah, as you guys can see, um, even against Inferno Towers with like double um, win conditions and like really fast uh, aggressive plays you can play well and win I think that guy was decent at the game too we'll take a look yeah 3,000 in the world everyone that we're playing against is good at the game this guy is around my similar skill level too so it's kind of funny that uh, everyone that we've played against has been good um, it's your elixir golem deck from a few days ago what, is it going to be stable anymore over the metas yeah 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 no, that elixir golem deck is really good that elixir golem deck is definitely something I would suggest to play how long did it take to level uh, every card to level 14 that you have? It took a while, man. <laughs> uh, the bad thing about Clash Royale is it is kind of pay to win, you know, from that perspective. If you can't get to level 14 and you are playing against people that are level 14, you're going to have a bad time. You're not going to be able to beat someone at the similar skill level as you. But from that perspective, it is definitely pay to win. Um, I wish it wasn't. I've been asking Supercell to make it tournament standard for the longest time. And uh, they're, they seem like they were actually receptive to it a little bit, so... We'll see if they will do it. I mean, I got an interview with Drew, and I told him that's what I would want him to do. Uh, let's see. Let's see if they pull through. What do you guys think? You think they'll pull through, or are you guys, like, un I guess unimpressed and uh, expecting the least? For me, I'm just kind of uh, unexpected the least. Are you doing emotionally okay? Yeah, I'm doing really, really well. I actually, um, I don't know. You should probably be able to tell, because I'm very much an open book on my streams and stuff like that. Um, but... I guess, uh, for the most part, like, I'm just really, really thankful to be in the position that I am. Generally on streams and stuff, you guys can tell that, I don't know, <laughs> I wouldn't rather be doing anything else. Please meet Gladiator. Um, he hasn't been spamming as much. I told him that if he spams more, then he would get, uh, he would get muted or banned or whatever, but he stopped, you know, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna ban him or mute him because he's, he's been good, you know, he's been chill. That's what I like to do. I like giving people second chances from that perspective. Also, since we had an Electro Dragon, I felt like, let's just go Golem and take the tower. Why not, right? If we can snag the tower, probably a pretty good decision. So the strategy, whenever you see a Lava Hound in the back, you go Electro Dragon, same side. And then you don't stack up the Skeleton Dragons or anything else, because it could give them Fireball Bait. All right, we're going to go and kite the Inferno Dragon to the other side, utilizing our Barbro. And this time, we're not going to miss it like we did last time with the Goblin Cage pointed in. Go Skeleton Dragons here. Let's go Barbro. Go Electro Dragon. Go for a Lumberjack. And then maybe even like a Evo Barb's in the middle. I don't think that's that bad. We can Tornado here and kill everything, guaranteed. And then we should be set up for success, right? We can go Skeleton Dragons. You can maybe go for another Elixir Collector. There's a lot of different things that I can do. I'm not too worried about this, because if I go Lumberjack at the river and I've got the Electro Dragon and Skeleton Dragons, um, I'm making it happen. All right, yeah, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. I can go for Barbarians in the middle as well, just to keep up the offense, so then the Lumberjack is going to, like, rage it all up. We can go for an Electro Dragon here as well. Super cool. Let's freaking go, guys. 
Let's get it. So it looks like a win for us. Uh, this game wasn't even close. So that's good. Not this deck. Yeah, this deck is really fun. Do you have fun making YouTube videos? Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Um, hey, Jake, I love your content, live streams, and daily videos help me wind down uh, the stress of the day. Keep up the good work. Thanks for being here, man. Excuse me. How do you manage your time with editing? Please answer. I don't. Um, I don't edit my own videos. I used to. Um, so two years ago, three years ago, um, I woke up every day at 6 a.m. I edited for three hours. Then I went to classes online. And then after that, I spent maybe two hours with my girlfriend at the time. And then I ended up uh, going to bed and doing it all over again. I had this monotonous routine that I did every day. And it was stressful. It was hard. It was difficult. And my videos sucked. My quality of time with my ex was not great. And then also on top of that, um, I was just not really enjoying classes because I was kind of stressed. I did it. I pushed through it. And I told myself I had to persevere, but it was not the position I wanted to be in. Right now, I can look at myself and I can be like, I have all the time I want to work out. I have all the time I want to do Clash Royale and content as much as I want, whenever I want. If I'm having an off day, I can take a day off. If I am just wanting to go and explore a different deck, I can do that because you guys let me create the content that I want and you still watch it. So I'm in a perfect position and I'm very fortunate for that. So um, if you guys are ever struggling or you're ever having a bad spot or whatever, or you're like in a spot where you're like, man, am I going to get out of this? Just realize like life gets a lot better when you figure things out and you find the place that you want to be. Also, uh, AJ, thank you for the $5, man. Great channel, Sir Tag. I still lose a lot of games playing, but that's the fun that matters. Yeah, 100%. If you're not having fun with the game, take a break. Come back some other time. How many pull-ups can you do? Uh, around 25 in a row. 25 in a row. But at the same time, I also don't weigh very much. So <laughs> when I get more muscle, probably won't be able to do as many. <laughs> uh, yeah. But that's also the only activity that I really worked on. I like really, really worked on um, pull-ups. Play Evo Knight? I mean, I mean, I will do Evo Knight. I'll do some more Evo Knights. I'll do, this will be my last game with the Golem deck. All right, guys? And then we'll switch back to it. Imagine uh, if you match with Muhammad, like, what would you do, Tag? Lose. <laughs> I like how I'm able to just say it, frankly. Uh, that's fun, though. All right, we're going to go for Evo Barbs here. I think we're okay. Obviously, the Skeleton Dragons are, would not have been as good. The Evo Barbs plus Lumberjack push is going to be fun. So we'll see how this works. Obviously, we can go for Skeleton Dragons as well and just, just overwhelm them with a, a offense, but yeah, I think we're going to do it. I think we're just going to go for the Skeleton Dragons and see if we can get more damage. Do the, the Rages stack up or not? Nah? I think I want to go Barbrill, and the reason why I'm going to go Barbrill is the Skeleton Dragons will force that extra Elixir, and then the Barbrill will give us more damage. And on top of that, then I'm back to another Elixir Collector. The guy's got Graveyard, so it's a little bit scary, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, what the? Fireball. Okay, uh, Zach, you've got an interesting deck. Fireball, Graveyard, Skeleton King. Oh my gosh, what is he? What is he doing? What's the dog doing? <laughs> to be honest, I think that's the worst play he could have done. Uh, so I think I might win. We'll see. Psycho in the Tombstone there is a blatant sign of disrespect or a misclick. Could have been like an Ice Wizard or something, I think. I don't know. I'm really confused. So again, favorite strategy is to go in for a Lumberjack here and see what we can do. Probably just going for Barbarians in the right-hand side because he doesn't end up having the right card cycle right now. I like having Evo Barbs on defense anyway, so let's see what we can do. Okay, he's going to Fireball Arrows. I guess I don't break through this, but Skeleton Dragons aren't that bad, and we're forcing out even more Elixir, and Skeleton Dragons are raged up, so they might be able to do something. I got to go in for another Golem. Um, if I don't, then he's just going to go Graveyard, and I lose. So he might go Graveyard anyway. Yeah, I bet he goes Graveyard anyway. There's a chance that we still kill the Electro Dragon. That's not good. That's really not good. That's really not good. <laughs> At least I wasn't foolish enough to spend more elixir on it. All right, let's go Barbrill here. Evo Barbs. He doesn't have Fireball, so... Might give it a cook a little bit. Can I just go Golem at the river right now? Because I have Lumberjack and Evo Barbs counter pushing. He's done a lot of elixir. He really messed that up. So this is like the allocation of elixir that might allow me to win. Because maybe I just played better than him intrinsically. Maybe... Like that graveyard that he just wasted five elixir, it might have might have been his downfall. We'll see though. I mean there's always a chance. <laughs> always a chance, Becky. 
You never know until you actually see. Skeleton dragons weren't enough, though. So I did a ton of damage. It just wasn't enough. Hopefully he goes in for another bad graveyard. Right into barbarians. He doesn't freak out and do it, unfortunately. We gotta go tombstone and then go for another golem. Um, Lumberjack will be able to rage everything up. I'm sure you guys can see the strategy here. <laughs> Basically, wham, bam, my bridge, spam. Wham, bam, my bridge, spam. You guys know the deal. Oh, he's got zappies too. Okay, so you would just hard counter me then. With that. Good fireball on this instantly. I don't know what he's doing. Alright, we're just going to go for Evo Barbs here. Go for a Barbrill. Pull that all back. Going for Lumberjack. Go for our, our uh, Skeleton Dragons. Guarantee that we win this interaction. And then go Golem at the river again. He's going to Fireball this. There's no doubt about it. But the Lumberjack's going to go Rage up everything. He's going to Fireball my tower, actually. Ooh, wait. He's going to try to, like, double Fireball or something? I don't know. I'm kind of interested to see what he does. What he's going to do. I'm going to go Barbrill here. We want the Golem to explode on the tower. But, I mean, this is really, really rough. This is going to be one of the hardest situations ever. The Electric Dragon did get hit. Yeah, we just got to keep spamming because we're just going to lose then if we don't break through. Yeah, so if he didn't have Zappies, he would have lost the game, guys. But unfortunately, the guy had Zappies, so he does walk away to win. That's a little bit of an upsetting loss, but hey, you can't win every game you play. And sometimes your opponent will end up having like an extraordinarily annoying card that uh, is just hard to deal with. If they stack up Zappies, you can't really break through. So uh, it would have been better. Have you watched Oppenheimer or Barbie? I've watched Barbie. I've not watched Oppenheimer. I heard uh, Oppenheimer was a lot of uh, a lot of talking, a lot of talking. But I, I'm going to play one more with that deck. I'm going to play one more with that deck. Oh, yeah. I, he just says, please ban me. Okay, yeah. I guess I will time you. Uh, I could ban him as well. I don't know. If that's the case, if that's what he wants, then I'll time him out, and then I'll ban him next time. Uh, the guy BM'd you? Oh, yeah. I don't care. I mean, if you guys actually get upset about uh, video games, like someone getting mean to you or whatever on, on a video game, you guys just got to understand, like, that there's so many other things in life that are bad that you could get upset about, right? When you actually endure hardships and then you realize, like, I'm complaining about someone BMing me and spamming emotes in a video game, then you, you really understand how lucky you are, how privileged you are as a person. So I try not to put myself in that perspective. Also, I missed the barbell there, but it's fine. I can still get a second coming of King Tower activation with the Skeleton Dragons. It's not a bad decision to drop Skeleton Dragons in the middle against the Firecracker Hog Rider, so it's like pretty good play. Firecracker is not going to be able to hit all the Skeleton Dragons immediately. Uh, game audio is messed up. Okay, I'll fix it. No worries. No worries, dudes. Okay, so this matchup is not good. The reason why it's not good is because he's going to end up having a uh, Earthquake. And Earthquake does really, 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 really well into people that have Elixir Collector. So I intrinsically have a horrible advantage in this matchup. Audio is messed up? Yeah, yeah, I fixed it. I just turned it off. Turn the audio off until, uh, until it works again. Um, anyway, we're gonna go for a Lumberjack here, and he probably just defends with the Firecracker and a Valkyrie and just vibes with what he's got. I mean, I could Tornado to kill the Firecracker. I could also Barbarrel plus Barbarrel, uh, Barbarians, sorry, plus, uh, Barbarrel. Oh, is Electric Dragon a kill? Wow, that's huge. That's so lucky. That's so lucky for us. I love it. I don't want to use Tornado on offense against his Firecracker when he drops it. Oh, I probably got toasted. Am I dead? Man, it doesn't do near as much as it used to. Like, for real? That usually kills the Evo Barbs. Evo Firecracker is not near as good as it used to be. That would have been 800 damage on my tower too. That would have been insane. I would, there's, no, there's no way I come back from that then. Usually. Oh, such a smart Valkyrie because he's going to Hog Rider with it. Yep. All right. So we just have to sack the tower then and then basically all in. This guy was smart because he knew that I would just Tornado. Again, uh, I took too much damage early on. Dang it. We got to focus up. When we're playing against people as good as me, I can't like mess up. I can't make as many misplays. I think that's one of the things that... Um, just to, like full transparency. Like this, this is very easy for me to hit ultimate champion. But, but when I'm playing against people as good as me and I'm not fully focused, I just take my eye off when I get a bad matchup. I'm going to get rolled. And that's exactly what happened here. Bad matchup into an elixir collector a counter. So I'm not able to do as much. I took a ton of damage early on. I got some damage back. But because I wasn't super focused and he played well, he was going to win the game. If he played worse than me or I played really well throughout the entire match and identified his deck and didn't go for elixir collectors, I might have been able to win. Anyway, we'll jump on to the next one and we'll figure it out. Yeah, the audio is tripping static. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're fixed. We're fixed.
We're fine. We're fine. So guys, we're going to go back to the fast cycle decks and we're just going to win all of our games. And then we'll bounce all the way up to Ultimate Champion. How does that make you guys feel? So, did we lose more than I intended? I think we did. Where are we at? <laughs> we're back where we started. <laughs> we were literally like one uh, one win above, uh, above, above it. Did you get bullied because of YouTube? No, dude, never. I've never, like, if anything, YouTube is one of those things that I try to stay away from conversations with people because everyone wants to be a YouTuber right now. And sometimes people would like just want to be friends with me or like talk to me or whatever because of YouTube. Like they see, oh, like this guy was successful with YouTube. And then, yeah, it's just one of those things that uh, I get asked very often, like how much money do you make? How sustainable is it? And all that stuff. And I'm just like, well, you know, I don't really love talking about that with random people that I've never met before. So <laughs> that's one of those things that uh, happens very, very often. I don't know if you guys ever get that or if um, with your guys' jobs or some some situations in life, people are pretty nosy or maybe they're just intrinsically interested and then they can't stop themselves. But those are the type of questions that I definitely avoid. Where do you live? Uh, I live in Seattle. I love to play Golem. Yeah, Golem's a pretty fun deck, man. All right. Let's focus up and just win every game. First time watching Sir Tag live. Fun times. Yeah, man. Good vibes and good games. Audio is all good now? Yeah, yeah. It should be good. Just log. Afer. Magic Archer here since it does a ton of damage. The Barbarians are going to just give us target practice, essentially. Go for a Minor on defense, maybe. And then Balloon, potentially. Counter with Tornado. I don't think it's that bad to eat some damage. Actually, let's just tornado it back. Might as well, right? The Spear Goblin should be able to kill it in time. Did I not drop it in the right spot? Damn it. Yeah, should have been like... Should have been a King Tower activation or should have been just fully back. I thought that I would have been fine. I just... I didn't put it in the right spot. Oh, that sucks. Not going to sugarcoat it. That was a bad play on my end. Should have just been like pulled slightly further back. Oh, wait. I lost against this before. I don't want to lose against it again. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can cook a little bit. Go here. The Spear Goblins. Going for Minor Wall Breakers. Make sure his Elixir is really low. And then the Bomb Tower might be able to clutch up on defense. I don't know. I'm going to try to do it again. Try to run it back. Run it back, baby. All right, we're going to go Spear Goblins here. We're going to go in for Magic Archer directly on top. Don't think it gets another hit. We're good. All right, Minor. Spear Goblins are actually still alive somehow. Go for a Knight and Wallbreakers. Magic Archer is still alive as well. Magic Archer is still out here kicking it. Spear Goblins coming up clutch. Magic Archer Miner. All right, we just want to keep up the offense so he can't go for Lava Hounds. Because if he does, I lose. All right, we're fine. We just go in for like a Bomb Tower here and then pull it. And then NATO afterwards. I think that that just dies. Did it even give him death damage? It might. It does. That sucks. Might have thrown. I don't know. I hope he doesn't fireball plus zap me or something. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, he's going to fireball plus arrows, I think. Yeah. Ah, it sucks. If I just tornadoed it back, I would have been able to magic archer and I would have won. Dang. It's one of those things that you look at the game and there's so many mistakes. So the number one thing was not activating King Tower at the start or just pulling it back a little bit further. Number two, not tornadoing on the balloon and then the balloon gets death damage, putting me into fireball plus arrows range. You live and you learn. I'm never going to sugarcoat that. I made those mistakes. I own up to those and I'll play better. So that's the way that I like to look at things. Even if you're like, you know, frustrated in the moment, just like look at it from that perspective. You try to look at the way, the reason why you lose and then you won't make those mistakes in the future. Or at least that's the way that I try to see it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Those type of things... Sometimes do frustrate me in the moment. They're like, ah, oh, man, that sucks. But it only lasts for like a couple seconds. And then I just go to the next game. And then you don't really worry about it anymore. At least that's the way that I try to see it. It's also a bad matchup. Yeah, but the bad matchup should not even be a consideration, right? If it's something that you could have won and you know that you could have won and you are playing okay enough to win, you, you don't want to say just bad matchup and then go next. You want to play better and then get better at the game and then go next. At least that's the way that I like to look at things. I don't want to just base things off bad matchups and say like I that was unwinnable because then your improvement mindset is just completely stopped. I want to get better at, at Clash. I want to get better at the game. And I, I don't want to have the situation where I'm making excuses for no reason. 
At least that's the way that I like to be. I very, very rarely make excuses for myself. And actually, one of my um, one of my biggest uh, challenges in life is like how hard I am on myself. That is one of those things that I think like I struggled with a lot growing up, and still now. I uh, am very, very hard on myself. That's one thing that I, I need to start improving on. It's hard, though. If you guys have any suggestions or anything, I'll read the comment section, too. And uh, you guys can tell me. How do you guys how do you guys not be so hard on yourself? Like, for instance, like, growing up, every time I'm... Like, I was really trying to get super good at tennis. And because I wasn't very good at tennis, I was so disappointed in myself. And I would... Um, it, it would mentally devastate me that, you know, I could only play Division Two tennis after playing, like, five hours a day every day. Five days a week. <laughs> Wasn't able to mentally deal with that. Or when I didn't do well on a test. When I had studied really well. Um, I just got so dejected and disappointed. Like, what do you guys do? You guys can let me know. For me, one of the things that has helped me is like, knowing that I did the best I could do and there was nothing else I could do after that. And that's the way I've been operating with it right now. But I feel like there's definitely improvements that I could still make on that mentality. Knowing that I, I do the best that I can and then I move on. Because then anything else is wasted time. Because if you can't change how you acted and change how you did things, it doesn't really matter. Like, for instance, when I failed, like, a French test, even though I studied for a while, um, there was nothing else I could do because I knew that I wasn't equipped to do well in that test because I was in eighth grade and I was in a class full of seniors because you're supposed to learn French, two years of French in, in one year. It was the hardest thing. It was one of the hardest things I've done in my life. Trying to learn French, a foreign language with, like, a... A teacher that did not speak English and just like purely spoke French. It was pretty funny. Anyway, getting back to business, let's just do this and then be confident with our miner knowing that it's going to do a lot of damage. He's just overwhelmingly spamming everything. It's pretty funny, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to work very well for either of us. The Spear Goblin's here. Notice his defense though, guys. Tell me that that defense wasn't satisfying, satisfying to watch. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. All right, we're going to go miner here. All right, we have to wait for the ghost to be uh, to hit our magic archer once. Otherwise, it wouldn't be visible. Now I'm playing really well. I'm kind of in my element. I'm in my groove right now, guys. Hell yeah. Do that. Let's go for a knight. Minor log. Arrows are coming down from our opponent. Um, should just be able to NATO and win the game. That's it. That was a really easy one. On to the next one. I think accepting the way you feel is important. Realizing that you did wrong is like, yeah, yeah. You do a CR matches, realizing the limit as per human. Per yeah, it's just, um, I don't know. That's one of those things that I, I really struggle with. Baguette. <laughs> Dude, don't say baguette. I'm actually traumatized by French. Like, straight up. Um, like, literally traumatized. My, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't know. It's a beautiful language, and I tried to surround myself with people that speak French afterwards, but it was like... I, in the back of my head, every single time, I was like, man, this language, like, I, I, <laughs> I don't know it. I tried so hard. Um, anyway, let's go Magic Orchard and see what else we can do. I'm traumatized by Spanish. I feel like when you have a bad experience with a language or a bad experience with stuff like that, you tend to remember it, right? Oh, well, this Bond Tower doesn't pull, does it? Oh, it does. Let's go. That's so lucky. Okay, we can log on top of the Musketeer if we need to. I think I will. I don't think I want to spend any extra elixir. Can we just do that in wall breakers and see if we can cook a little bit and see what else we can do? What are some ways to use the Knight Evo? Uh, tanking for whatever like high damage card you got. So for instance, like a Knight, um, tanking for a Miner or Spear Goblins or Magic Archer or wall breakers. That's generally the strats that I like the most. How old are you? I am 26 years old. That's what's up, dude. I've been cooking for a minute. Why well, have Latin? It's very hard to learn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> respect for anyone that learns Latin. Lots of respect for anyone that learns Latin. Why is Magic Archer your favorite card? It's perfectly balanced. It dies to Fireball. It dies to two logs. It dies to two dark, two dark Goblin shots in a log. It, um, it doesn't survive a lot of stuff, but it can do a lot of damage when played well. And personally for me, I love running cards that I feel like I can get value from from that perspective. Where I feel like... Wait one sec. Oh no, I um, didn't immediately do it. Sorry guys, we'll go next. I was uh, I was talking and then I did something and I messed up. Oh man, that kind of sucks. 
I think we're just going to go play Splash Shard since it is easier to play as well. Like, this deck does require a little bit better mechanics. I was playing well before, but I think my mechanics are slipped. It's 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I have not had breakfast yet, so I assumed that I was just going to win five games in a row. And obviously, I did not win five games in a row. <laughs> we ended up playing against a lot of really good players, so we'll focus up and we'll make it happen. Today's going to be a little bit more of a journey. Tag, you look 22. Thanks, man. Are you American? Yeah, yeah. I'm from the States. That went as horribly as it could have. Yeah, I mean, you just missed the NATO, right? Like one second earlier, and then it would have been fine. A little bit earlier, then you go Bomb Tower, and then everything's fine on defense, and then you don't worry about it. I could have also Bomb Towered in the middle and then tornadoed everything directly into the King Tower, and that would have worked too. You do really well with accepting things. Have you ever been uh, to Ultimate Champion? Uh, yeah, I've always met Ultimate Champion every season. Titan, you, I feel like you've never been on the stream before, bro. <laughs> I mean, I finished number 21 in the world before, right? But recently, I finished 1,800 two seasons ago in, in Ultimate Champion. But yeah. All right, let's win one more game with this and then go back. If you speak French, you actually need to know at least 1,500 versus 500 in English. Yeah, dude. So, uh, je m'appelle Jake. Nous allons inventer une histoire. Sorry. Nous allons inventer une histoire parce que ça va être utile pour apprendre le français. So I know like a couple of sentences and that's it. And it's like, we're going to invent a story to learn French because it's useful. And, um, like, I know some French, and that's it. And then, um, that's me. So, it's not really anything special, but <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I had verbal di dictations where I had to say that to uh, my teacher. And, um, obviously, that was, was... That's what we had to memorize. You give me Big Brother vibes? Yeah, dude. I, uh... You know, I try to be nice to everyone that I'm around. I think that's one of those things, like, generally, if, I, if I'm if i around people or I'm talking to them, I want to be nice to them, because otherwise, you know, if I don't like them, then I just won't spend time around them. And obviously, if I'm spending time around you guys and you're you're part of the community, then I want to be with y'all. So that's nice. Your goblins should just be able to clean up quite nicely. Go for a log here. We can go minor wall breakers. But I should win this matchup. This one's really, really, really good. Obviously, the wall breakers should lock onto the tower. Nice damage. All right, we can go for a night at the river. We can do a lot of different things. There's so much potential for our deck. Your content helped me get better at the game. Thank you. I'm happy to hear that, man. That's a good vibe. Not at all. Your accent is actually decent. I'm in French for an American. Hey, well, for, until you said American. <laughs> for an American. I was like, oh, let's go. It was decent. And then you're like, for an American. And I was like, well, in America, some people believe that uh, instead of English... We speak American, so, you know, uh, the, the standards aren't that high, right? The standards should be a bit higher, but it is what it is. All right, we're going to go for wall breakers and a miner here, and we'll see what's happening. But I'm glad you thought it was decent. It's okay, Tank. I believe you can get ultimate champion. Yeah, dude, I def I believe I can get ultimate champion, too. <laughs> oh, man. That's fun, though. All right, I should have activated King Tower. wasn't really thinking. As you guys can see, my brain is kind of turned off right now. But it's all good. We'll turn on the winds. You guys know the deal. Um, we're going to go for a log on the Goblin Gang just to finish it off. Get some extra damage on the tower and get him. Oh. All right. Easy King Tower activation. Light work. The Evolved Knight is a problem, but not that big of a problem if it doesn't lock towers. Two logs does kill, which is annoying. I don't want the Magic Archer to die. All right. Well, Tesla's gone. One of the Wall Breakers might connect. All right, let's just do this. Line it up, line up the damage, and then probably win the game. I don't think there's any way that he's able to stop that. I mean, even the Goblin Gang in the back. Sorry, the Goblin Gang paired with a Goblin Barrel directly on the tower didn't make much sense in my opinion. I feel like the positioning could have been so much better. Anyway, easy win. We'll go to the next one. <laughs> Light work. Also a good matchup. I've never seen Sir Tag lose. He's the best. My favorite Clash Royale YouTuber. I lose all the time, man. I spend so much time learning every deck that I play before I make the videos on him. And then when I learn it, I, I generally get some pretty good win streaks, or I play well. But for the most part, dude, I lose. There's a lot of losses in my videos, too. Generally, like, one loss per video. Um, we're having fun. I don't know how you're able to interact with the game and the chat at the same time. Oh, just playing worse. I just play worse. I sacrifice. But we do speak American. Hey, wait. This guy is top 51 in the world. All right. Let's focus. Let's play really well. Let's impress you guys, all right? Let's impress you guys. No mediocre out here. No mediocre. We'll see if we can win. Obviously, going to be tough, but you never really know. How far are you off Ultimate Champion right now? 
Uh, I don't know, like five games, probably something around there. No big deal. Oh, he's got Fisherman, so this is definitely an RG deck. All right, so we want to be able to kill the Fisherman here and Barb on top of the Phoenix Egg, and then maybe get some damage to the Graveyard. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I think it could work. He's going to Lightning. Wow. Lightning, Electro Spirit, Royal Ghost. Lots of Elixir. It's better for me to go Knight instead of Tornado, because even if I activate King Tower, I kind of want to get to the Evolution. I think. I don't know. I'm going to go Nato. I'm going to do it. I think that depending on the version, it might actually be better to activate King Tower. I should have done it like perfectly and not taken any damage, but I did take some damage. All right, I can poison on that if I want. I think going opposite lane is probably the priority. If I go same side, he defends with Royal Ghost, Fisherman, Phoenix, and then he, graveyards, or then he goes in for a uh, Royal Giant. That's how I lose the match. I'm not going to be doing that that often. All right, let's just go Ice Wizard here and Barbrill. Barbrill should have been dropped first. Pretty big misplay. All right, let's go Tombstone here. Going for a Knight, and then uh, probably getting cooked a little bit, not going to lie. Anyway, the Evolved Knight might be able to do something. One-shot it? No. This Phoenix Egg still comes out. It's fine, though, because maybe the Knight can do something. I don't know. It should do some damage. The bare minimum forcing out extra Elixir that he doesn't want to be dropping. We go Ice Wizard here. Clean up the Royal Ghost and the Phoenix Egg. Whew. All right. We can Graveyard other side. As I was talking about before, generally the way that you want to play is go opposite lane of your opponent in this matchup. Really important to spread out their stuff from my experiences. Go Knight so we can just cycle back to it as quickly as we can. I want a Baby Dragon here as well so we can finish off the Phoenix and then Graveyard again with it. We'll see. Ice Wizard is not that bad. We can just Graveyard by itself, I think, with the... Damn. Oh, this guy's really smart. Wait, that got glitchy. Uh, I think Ice Wizard in here is an L. Yeah, I don't think I win against this guy. That feels bad, man. So, um, definitely playing as a top 50 player in the world is a bit interesting. Uh, I didn't really expect that to be the case. I really did not expect to play against a top 50 player. <laughs> That's seriously insane. Sometimes people just don't play until like the end of the, uh, don't play that much early season. But yeah, looking like an L, yeah, that guy is super, super good. Are you doing a global tournament video? I'm not doing a global tournament video. Would you ever do a meet and greet? Yeah, definitely at events and stuff, 100%. But yeah, guys, I mean, I just played against someone that finished 163 in the world last season and top 50 in the world in a Royal tournament. So obviously, if I'm playing against someone at that level, it's a pretty big difference when I haven't been playing as much recently. I haven't played much the past week or two and also playing against someone better than me. You're very brave growing up on Martha's Vineyard and facing the struggle of not knowing what an elevator is. Oh, yeah. Wait, did I? I told you guys that, right? I, when, growing up on Martha's Vineyard, I didn't know what an elevator was. There were no, like, uh, intersections with, like, blinking lights. Like, they try to keep it, like, super minimalistic. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny how that's, uh, how that's the case. All right, we can just go poison on the firecracker and be okay. Man, today's been a journey right now, hasn't it? Please collect all this stuff. It looks annoying. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste my time doing that. All right. Let's go baby dragon in the back. Yeah. I'm going insane about speaking American. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. So that should lock onto the knight and not my tower. I can also just continuously poison or tornado. I think I'm going to tornado. Same goal, right? Same thing. Last elixir. Go Tombstone and Barbro. Clean up the Spear Goblins is always nice. Mortar is going to probably do a lot of damage to me. But it is what it is. Wait, we have like one skeleton on the other side. That doesn't hit my tower, does it? Goes on the Evo Knight. What? <laughs> that was pretty funny. It's just poison because it does kill the firecracker and then i think our knight wins this i mean the firecracker helped him out but the, our knight also wait 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 watch this oh he had to drop extra elixir because if the knight stays alive it's going to hit the tower then because the 80 percent damage reduction like it, if it just had a little bit more hp it actually would have gotten a hit on the tower which is ridiculous for me 
the fact that that's the case is just so funny. So in these type of matchups, you want to get to later stage of the game because if they try to defend with bait cards, they just lose. They can't win in double elixir. So kind of want to win in they want to win in single, and then when they hit double, they're gonna have some trouble. We can use tornado here if we need to. Um, yeah, I definitely want a tornado on the firecracker so I can kill it, and then just get the damage I can get, and then not spend any extra elixir because it's not necessary. Tombstone is going to clean up the mortar, and then I guess we can go for a poison here on top of the rest of his mortar. And then we would go for a knight if we needed to. I'd rather just keep going in for, like, stuff like this. Activating King Tower's Clutch, because now I can spend less elixir. Sure, the mortar can get him some nice damage, but it's not that big of a deal. We'll go for a knight here as well. Oh, he's going to go for another mortar. Cycling them like crazy. Interesting to see that. Did you go Firecracker or no? Okay. okay. Would have expected that. So we could Tornado if we wanted to, but again, I'm kind of just waiting for my opportunities. I know that this matchup is definitely ours, so all I want to do in this type of situation is not, like, mess up, you know? When you have a game one, like, don't throw it, you know? That's the strategy that I've always uh, embarked on, you know? All right, so we're going to go in for a graveyard here before we even uh, hit Max Elixir, because or when we hit Max Elixir, because I don't want to leak anything. We're going to Poison, and we're not going to even have anything with it, because he's going to stop it from crossing the river anyway. Barbrill here, going for a Baby Dragon, and then we can go for an Evolved Knight if we wanted to with a graveyard, but... I'd rather just keep clicking. I guess I'm going to go for the Evolved Knight here. We could Tornado this in. So we don't have to worry about the Firecracker. And then Poison. Definitely could have played that better, to be honest. But it doesn't matter that much. So we can go in for probably a Graveyard here. Because I think the Baby Dragon kills the Spear Goblins. It's going to lock on the Graveyard Skeleton. So we're fine. That one Goblin, though. <laughs> He's so tilted because it locked on the wrong thing. He's so upset right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, on to the next one. You're part of my daily routine. Yes, sir. I don't really watch CRL, so if you guys ask me questions about that stuff, I've never really cared that much. Um, if I watch something, then I'll always be able to interact with you guys about it. But like, if I if I don't watch it, I'm not going to really tell you guys like, yo, I think it was really cool or whatever. Yeah, do not want to say uh, you're speaking American? I just figured they rarely see an American other than uh, French Canadian speak fluently like you. Really? <laughs> oh, dude. So funny story. Um, the first person that I had like a serious relationship was actually French Canadian. That was kind of funny. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I met another friend uh, later on, like a dude um, that like I did crosswords and a lot of stuff with. Uh, he's French Canadian as well. He's really fun. Are you gay? No, uh, I'm not gay. Uh, do you do you laugh when they're angry? Uh, I don't really laugh all the time when my opponents are angry, but like when they um, when they think that they've won and then they and then they like say that they've won the entire time and then they lose, I laugh a little bit. It's pretty funny then. I mean, how can you not laugh when someone's like been thinking that they've won the entire time and then they mess up? It's kind of funny, like when they're like super confident about winning. I even laugh at myself when I'm cocky and I think that I've won, you know, and then I lose and I'm like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those funny moments when you're like, you're not rooting for the person that's like super, uh, no, you're never going to root for the person that's like arrogant, I guess. At least for me, I, I would never want to root for the person that's like, oh, so easy. I've won. I don't know. I'm not, not about that life really. Um, I said, uh, why do they laugh when they're angry? Oh, they're doing it sarcastically because it's like a joke to them. They're like, I hate this thing. They get super upset. You watch any anime? Yeah, I do. I do. I watch, um, uh, I'm watching Jujutsu Kaisen and stuff like that right now. Eesh. Go for a poison. Finish that off. Nice. So clean. Hitting the Musketeer, Goblins, and Towers. Six Elixir and Tower damage for four. Yeah, we take that all day long, boys. All right, so I think we're in an okay spot. Not anything, like, to write home about right now, but it's decent. Uh, I guess we go Barbrill here. The Tombstone is definitely going to take the precedence, right? Bad Goblins. They're really bad Goblins, I think. They just go towards the Tombstone. Or not. Guess not. No Goblins in Cycle, though, so I guess I can just do this. And then Poison on the Musketeer. He's going to Poison every time, but... If we just continuously do stuff like this, we'll eventually overwhelm him. Plus, I want the Knight to go towards the Tower, to be honest. Or have the Skeletons lock on the Tower. I think that was smart. I think all the skeleton damage was super, super clean. All right. All right, let's go Ice Wizard. 
The bar barrel. Poison here on the goblins, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. And also hit the mortar. It's always worth it. Now I don't have anything for the musketeer, but it's all good. The musketeer's gonna be cycled to the left, which is basically the depths of despair for him. Go for a knight. There's the miner. Easy light work. Uh, going for a tombstone. Going for a baby dragon when I want it, or I can go ice wizard. I mean, there's so many different things I can do right now. It's really cool. Really, really bad goblins from him, so I think we're in a good spot, all things considered. Especially if we go for this. Poison. Have the ice wizard maybe lock onto the tower or near it? Yes, sir! Look at that damage, baby! Hell yeah! This is light work. We are doing good things. Still not light work, but like, you know, it's fun. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna try not to throw, you know? Simple strats. <laughs> The mortar shouldn't hit my tower. Of course it does. Musketeer shouldn't hit my tower. Of course it does. Alright, we're fine. We've got a lot of stuff counter pushing these. Oh, that was supposed to be a musketeer. Yeah, now he's dead. He needed that to not be what it was. Yeah, he's very dead after that. Sometimes you just also want to play it out and wait for your opponent to make a misplay and then punish them because like a lot of these games are a battle of attrition. Whoever makes less mistakes and just plays it like solidly Sometimes, like, you can win things just by showing up. I don't know if you guys have heard, like, the corny saying, like, showing up is half the battle. Like, for real, sometimes that's the case. <laughs> you show up, you play well, and then you win. Um, GG. But yeah, he made a misplay, and then he immediately lost. That guy was probably pretty good at the game. Yeah, he finished 500 in the world, guys. Look at that. Every single person we're playing against is good at Clash Royale. What the heck? Isn't that insane? Ash, Shane, and you are my favorite Clash Royale YouTubers, along with some local guys. I'm sad that Ash is going to stop making vids. Yeah, man, he's still going to do CR vids, though. He's just not going to be doing, like, as many, right? He said that he's still going to do it. He'll still probably cover, like, the drama stuff. I don't know. Yo, let's get it. You guys know the deal. I'm going to go Knight in the back, and he's going to go for a Hunter. So whenever I see Hunter, I'm expecting it to be, like, some type of Fireball Bait deck. Haven't really completely convinced myself that it's going to be Fireball Bait yet, but it's also a chance that it's going to be RG. Uh, there's also a chance that it's going to be something else. But usually it's going to be... Okay. RG. RG. Not Fireball Bait because he's he would be running Fly Machine or Zappies or something if it was Fireball Bait. So, if we're playing against RG, we want to be able to win this because we had a bad loss last time. So we want to get our Redemption Arc. We go for a King Tower activation here. Then I'm going to go in for a Tombstone just to go and pull the Phoenix Egg. Skeleton should be able to pull it, even if it, like, comes out. Yeah, that's fine. We could Graveyard with a Knight and the Tombstone Skeletons. This is something that I've never really done before, but I kind of want to. Let's do it. Let's just see. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We have, like, a lot of Skeletons coming at him in the front from the Tombstone, and then we can go for a Poison here. I don't know. I mean, maybe the Skeletons can actually kill the RG. I'm just kind of hoping that that would happen, to be honest. It's not looking bad. It's really not looking bad. It worked. The tombstone literally killed the royal giant. Isn't that insane? That was like a half health tombstone, guys. You just learned something, right? I learned something. We limit tested. <laughs> That's sick. That actually makes me so happy. Hell yeah. Also, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure to drop a like on the video. It goes a long way. It supports me for free. And it allows me to stream and do YouTube videos and everything full time. So thank you guys. Uh, thanks for supporting me. Obviously, I have a lot of sponsors and stuff that we're going to be doing in the future. And uh, because of the viewership that we get, that's the reason why we're able to do it. And that's why I'm able to do these streams and have more chill moments with you guys. So, yeah. And subscribe if you want because I put out daily videos at 3 p.m. Eastern every single day. Yo, yo, yo. I understand it. Why is everyone talking? Oh, yeah. People talk about the things that are happening, you know? Um, everyone talks about everything that's going on, you know? That's just the Clash Royale community. That's people in general. People are generally interested by others. And then, because they're interested by others, that's what happens, man. Alright, so he's going to go for goblins, no doubt. So let's just do this. That was kind of a bad play on my end, I guess. Hunter's going to be outside of the vicinity, which is really rough. He misses it. I'm so happy I did that. I debated him so hard. Did you guys see that? Y'all saw what I did, right? 
I, I made him pull the Ice Lizard. And then when he pulled the Ice Lizard, he missed it with the Fireball. <laughs> I wasn't able to communicate that, but I actually intended that to happen. That was pretty funny. I thought he would have Lightning or something, though. I kind of forgot, like, what spell he had. But it's fun when, like, that happens. Because the Ice Wizard is just, like, harder for them to deal with then. Okay, let's just do this. Go for a Tornado. Get a Knight down. The only thing that's scary right now is that Evo RG just getting an extra damage. Because it's so thick. So annoying. Alright, we're going to go for a Baby Dragon Poison here. Just do everything we can. I think going opposite lane is generally the better play, but I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm maybe i going to go the same lane the entire time now. Maybe we're going to be switching it up. Especially with Skeletons too. I think it's okay. Alright, we're going to do this. Man, I don't like playing against RG with, um, with Graveyard. That's one thing that I've realized, especially when they've got Goblins. Really hard because they have so many cheap answers to you. I think I lost. Yeah, I was a good fisherman. I mean, go for this and then just hope and pray, but it's likely going to be an L. Wait, why does he have Zap too? What the heck? Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Anyway, um, yeah, Evo RG still does need a little bit of a nerf from uh, the health department, in my opinion. Um, I think all Evos do, but yeah, when you don't necessarily have a good way of killing it, then it's hard. Is this pre-recorded? Of course not. It's live. <laughs> Sometimes people think things are pre-recorded when they can't be. YouTube does not allow you to pre-record live streams, bro. It does not work like that. He's playing it right now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys, um, that most people understand that though. Sometimes there's some conspiracy theories where people are like, yo, Jake, um... You're only like re-recording game, or like I don't know how to say it. Like they're like recording games after after playing it and then commentating afterwards. Like obviously, like when I live stream everything, I never do that. Um, what do we do here? Oof! All right, we're just gonna bar brill. Um, this is definitely a good matchup for us if we're playing against anyone with Bowler and Electro Wizard and or Electro Dragon and stuff like that. Those cards are pretty useless to us, like relatively useless. I'm gonna go Tombstone here. I don't want to go Night Graveyard to be honest, especially since we still have a Lumberjack out of him. Oh, he stopped it from crossing the river. Very smart strat. All right, so does the Inferno Dragon like captivate uh, get captivated by the skeletons the entire time? Like I want the Inferno Dragon to get killed by my tower. I guess I should have waited with the Tombstone. Lightly, at least. Dang, I really should have waited. This Inferno Dragon staying alive for way too long right now. Let's just do this. That Inferno Dragon is such a pain in the butt. I need to go back. I think with the Ice Wizard, we're fine. We're going to go Barbrill here. It doesn't have Freezing Cycles, so we're okay. I just ended up wasting a lot of Elixir, which is not like my ideal situation. Wasting Elixir is never a vibe. <laughs> Fine, though, it happens. All right, so let's think this through. How are we going to win this? What's our strategy? What's our game plan? What's our orientation here? All right, so if we go in the left-hand side, uh, I think it's better because then he's not going to get as much counter push after he defends the graveyard. He also does have Inferno Dragon back in cycle, so... Oh, he cycled in the back. Oh, my gosh. This is our opportunity. He might have lost the game. I don't know 100%, but this is really bad for him. At least I would say so. So much damage with that knight. Oh, my gosh. Killed the bowler, bros. Killed the bowler. Hell yeah. Tombstone here does end up pulling the Inferno Dragon as well, which is a little bit bad, but... I mean, I can activate King Tower way easier now, so hopefully he goes in for a terrible freeze. I didn't do it. The one thing is... One thing that's really bad about our deck is we don't have a good way of killing Electric Dragons. Or Inferno Dragons. Those things, they win battles at the river very convincingly. Keep that in mind, guys, when you're playing this deck. If you can't kill the Lumberjacks and stuff, you can't really... It's going to be hard to stack up units. Because your, your, your units are just going to die. So, kind of try to uh, trade effectively here, I guess. Go for another Tombstone, and then a Poison, and then just pray that we can defend this. We want the Balloon to die. I think with the King Tower uh, activated, it would have been easier. But obviously, we didn't have that luxury. The Fern Dragon is going to eventually die. And we can go in for probably a 
Barb Brill uh, with the Baby Dragon and then win off that. I bet you the Baby Dragon wins us the game. Or I guess we can just play a little bit safer and not do anything stupid with a Tornado. I, th I kind of wanted to, but at the same time I didn't want to throw. Alright, we can activate King Tower here, so... I'm gonna do that right now. What? How did I miss that? Oh no. That was a tragic tilt. That was tragically bad. Sorry guys, that was really that was really awful. I might have to cycle two graveyards here and then win off that. I don't know if that's possible, but I think I might have to. Yeah, we're just gonna poison and just try to cycle as many of them as I can. I'm already going for like a knight here, and then we'll use tornado, and then we'll actually activate king tower this time. And then we'll do this, and then we'll cycle a graveyard, and then I think we win. So could I have played this better? <laughs> do you guys want the real answer to this? Yes. <laughs> Was this an easy matchup? Yes. Was this a struggle? Undoubtedly so. You already know it don't matter. What are the top cards I should upgrade to level 15? Uh, the cards that you use in your main deck. It's really, 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 really hard to um, to upgrade multiple decks to level 15. So you want to like upgrade your main deck and then cards that you would substitute out of your main deck depending on the meta. So for instance, if I was running this deck, I might upgrade Knight, Skeleton King, and then other evolutions that they add into the game instead of the, the Knight and maybe like Baby Dragon or um, Inferno Dragon. Or like you would want to change like maybe Fireball out for... Poison if the meta devolves into just fireball bait, right? And you really need to have fireball. So just try to like level up one deck and then focus on a whole bunch of substitutions that you can use to make that deck better depending on the meta. That's what I would, um, that's what I would give. That's what I would advise. All right, we're going to activate King Tower with this Hog Rider, hopefully. Nice. And then we can go for a Barbarian Barrel on top of this Executioner. And then we can Tombstone on top of the P.E.K.K.A. All things considered, I'm in a really good spot, and I'm not stressed about it in the least. Especially since the P.E.K.K.A. is going to get distracted by the Tombstone for the entire game. So right now, if the P.E.K.K.A. just doesn't do damage, and then we go in for... Oh my gosh, he's spending so much elixir. That Phoenix was bad. He thought I would Graveyard, so he made a prediction. So, yeah, he's down a lot after that. I think I can go for a Graveyard, actually. So we're considering Graveyarding in the right-hand side right now. Especially since I do have enough elixir for the poison, um, I will be okay. It's not like he can get away with like a easy counter. He might just left. Uh, he's in such a bad spot. Yeah, he went Executioner later. Um, I can Poison on that just to get extra damage. It's like more of a disrespect move. Knowing that you can Poison on that and be okay. Just because I don't want to deal with the Executioner and I'd rather get the 300 damage for free. Um, rather just play better, you know? Rather just be better. Rather make that happen. Can you wish me a happy birthday? Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you and everyone else that has a birthday today. Because we have over a thousand people watching live right now, so... Coincidentally, there's going to be people that also have their birthday. There's going to be, like, statistically probably three people at least. So, happy birthday to everyone here watching. Um, yeah. All right, so we can go Ice Sword in the back. We can go for a Tombstone. We can go Evolve Knight in the other side. I don't really want to, but I could. Um, kind of the best card to use on defense if things get sketchy. Let's just use our Evolve Knight in the back, actually. This guy has played very interestingly. Oh, those skeletons are a pain in the butt. That's Tornado here to kill them. I bet you he wasn't ready for that. So I just ate all the Hog Rider damage knowing that I could Tornado and do more damage than him. That's a little bit of a flex, not gonna lie. It worked. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so, uh, your positivity is amazing? Yeah, dude, I try to be as positive as possible. I mean, I don't fake it either. Like, you guys can see when I get frustrated during games. Um, it happens, and I move on, and then we bounce back. Um... I talk to you guys about life events that happen as well, all this stuff, you know. Um, tell you pretty much whatever uh, whatever comes to mind. So it's not just positivity, it's being realistic and um, improving as a person, I think, man. That's one of those things. Um, I try to also take away the good things too. Like the thing that I was most happy about the last like two months, even though the last two months weren't that good for me at all. Actually, last three months. Sorry, I forgot. Last three months were not good for me at all. <laughs> um, working out. And then finding pickleball and doing those type of things have been really, really good for me and really healthy. So I'm happy. You know game theory? I don't know game theory that well. Your tag is so hot. Ooh, thanks, man. Um, 
Inferno is more common this season. Yeah, Inferno is really good at killing um, Royal Giant. And it's just a good card in general. Casually being the most nicest YouTuber in the community. I don't know about that, man. I don't know if I'm the nicest YouTuber either. You guys give me so many titles that I don't really know if I deserve. <laughs> Very nice. Took like no damage. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty, pretty good. All right. Um, kind of want a graveyard with this. I don't think it's like the best decision, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, it did not work. It should have hit the skeletons, but obviously it hit the knight, so that sucks. I bet you I lose off that one interaction. I just spent my entire elixir bank. I don't have a witch goblin giant. I don't know if I can defend it. Maybe I can go tombstone and then barbarrel and get lucky, but... Okay, I guess I got lucky. <laughs> I hit a heal spirit. I pulled back the mega minion and I killed the sparky before the sparky hit the barbarrel. Guys, I'm not going to say that skill. That was not skill. I overcommitted. I had the best card cycle possible. And I somehow got out of a situation that I should have lost the game. Oh my god. I love Clash Royale. I really do. I love when that stuff happens to me because it's like, you know, genuinely, you don't deserve that. You don't deserve, you don't deserve that type of interaction. You don't deserve that type of stuff. You play Pickleball? I just started. I just started, actually. Every single time that I mention things on stream, like multiple times, there's always someone new that... uh that hasn't heard it before. So I like mentioned um, like life events and I mentioned pickleball like last two or three streams. Uh, so it's, I'm glad that there's always new people. It actually, that's one of those things that I uh, started to realize like having new people in the streams is just such a cool thing. So thank you for stopping by the stream, man, for the first uh, first time in a little bit. Hopefully you're doing well, bro. Uh, and yeah, yeah, I really like pickleball. I really like the sport. It's an incredible sport. Baby Dragon's on the tower. Nice stuff. We should have graveyarded with this. I had enough elixir to justify it. Decided not to, I guess. Just graveyard here and then poison twice. I don't think that's a bad decision. And also just bar bill as well. Get some extra damage. Get some decent value. Poisoning twice on Sparky is like such a disrespectful move. But it's so smart. You guys ready? Here's the disrespect play. Just poison, bar bill, poison, bar bill. Okay, let's do this. This. Just sack everything, I guess, and then go in for like a knight, maybe. Sack some damage, I guess. Go for a tombstone. But that's a lot more damage than I wanted to sack. Not the end of the world, though. We're still in a pretty okay spot. We're going to eat all the damage, go for a Barbarrel Baby Dragon, and have the Barbarrel Tank, and then we can go for a Poison on the Barbarians. Evo Barbs that he spammed at the river were really smart. Let's go for a Baby Dragon, because it doesn't get jumbled into the uh, massive mess of the Sparky. You don't want to drop things that get destroyed by Sparky like that. Baby Dragon will actually stay alive and hopefully fire on all cylinders on our side of the map. Also... Just do this, and then poison. Man, this is actually not looking good. There's no way that actually got another shot. I wasn't paying attention at all. I thought it died, and I looked away. That's what happens when I'm not, like, mentally focused. <laughs> totally fine, though. How far away are we right now? I might switch back to the golem deck and grind. I think we're going to switch back to Golem just because I'm a bit better at winning games faster with it. So then after I win a whole bunch of games faster with it, then we'll go through. E-Barbs need a fat nerf? I agree. I rarely comment on any videos, but your uh, content makes my day way better. Thank you, man. Play Evo Knight low there? Yeah, there were a lot of different things I could have done, but the Skeletons already took the shot, so I figured why would I play Evo Knight when the Skeletons were already soaking up the damage? I didn't need to go for the Evo Knight. Skeletons were already good. It's better to drop the Evo Knight at a distance to counter Sparky. I'm well aware of that, guys. The reason why I didn't do that, again, is the skeletons from the Tombstone already soaked up the Sparky shot. So why would I drop the Evo Knight away instead of just dropping it directly on top where I can actually finish off the Sparky because I need to kill the Sparky. Sparky wasn't shooting. Sparky was already reset. So it didn't make sense for me to do anything other than what I did there. I just messed up at the end. If I played better on defense, I would have won. But it is what it is. You know, like that, that specific misplay, I understand. Like, or that specific play you guys might think is a misplay, but that one was actually not a misplay. That was actually a good play. We wanted to be able to kill the Sparky a little bit faster there. 
So tag rocking as usual. Yeah, dude. We vibing. We're having a good time. Can't complain. Gonna psycho the evil barbs here. A little bit risky to do, but I think when he doesn't have fireball, it's harder for him to really feel good about himself. Because he ended up dropping fireball and goblin gang, so I really want to go and apply pressure. Like, hypothetically, with a lumberjack, evil barbs, and he doesn't have much, like, how is he supposed to stop this effectively, right? It's just tornado so we kill that really fast and get even more lumberjack damage and cycle a bit faster. I don't know if that was it. I, I don't know if that tornado was it, Chief. I don't, I don't know if that tornado was it. I am content contemplating my life decisions right now. I need to cycle one card to get to another elixir collector. Do I cycle skeleton dragons? In the back left. Do I cycle Lecture dragon? I think he might go in, so let's just go cycle skeleton dragons. They'll give me more value than a barbro. Barbro will just get him to drop something and then drop a royal giant or something. All right, let's do this. Uh, this is a little bit bad, but it can work out, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, if he just fireballs on these, we might be toasted. He does fireball on them. Hopefully he misses one. He does not. Yeah, I don't think we can even kill that. He's going to rage it up too, so my Lumberjack gets knocked back like crazy. Wait, we're still alive? I don't know how that happened. I'll take it though. I'll take it. Let's run it. Let's run everything that we have in the left and see if we can run away with a win. We have to drop all of our spam. That was a super bad Dark Prince. That was good for us. We pull it all back with a Barb Barrel, eat a ton of damage, and feel pretty comfy with our spot now because the Dark Prince is going to maul us, but not going to be near as bad as we thought. Put Evil Barb's in the right. Let's go Lumberjack here. This is generally the push when you've got Fireball. Um, that's like the one thing that they don't want to see because they want a Fireball and the Skeleton Dragons and everything else, but then they can't. So I almost guarantee you take his tower here. There's no way that he stops that. Especially with the Barb Barrel because he's pulling that instead of the other stuff. We can golem in the middle. I'm just going to go golem in the middle right now, and I think I win. So as you guys can see, even if I don't play perfect with a deck that I'm very good with, um, I still know how to get myself out of bad spots and come back. And uh, that's the reason why I like the deck so much, because you can make misplays when you're mentally a little bit more fatigued. Maybe you haven't had breakfast like me, and then you climb up and then you get all of the uh, medals really fast. So it's nice. Refreshing. Um, ask Sir Tag if he likes Archer Queen feet. We won't give up until we get an answer. Actually, dude, I think feet are some of the most disgusting things of people. I mean, you walk around in them all day. I've never understood that fetish. I, I understand other fetishes, but that one specifically, I've never really, um, I've never really vibed with. I don't know, guys. That's the only one. I'm sorry. And if you like feet, there's nothing against that. You guys can like what you like in life as long as you're not hurting other people. But for me personally, uh, I've never understood it because it just feels so dirty. The disrespect. I'm sorry, man. I got to be real with y'all. It's YouTube for a reason. I got to tell you how I actually feel. <laughs> all right. All right. We're good. We're good. Um, if you guys ask about other stuff, I probably won't just, I, I probably wouldn't answer. <laughs> when, when it's stuff that's like you guys are, I don't know. There's certain things that you guys have asked me before. I'm like, yes, but I'm not going to say yes to. <laughs> there's some things. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I think what was it? There was one moment where it was like um, something like really embarrassing. Oh yeah, so like for instance, you guys kept asking me if I knew how to swim, and because I was on an island or something, and I said like I didn't, like I or I knew that I didn't, and I didn't want to admit it. I didn't want like I my 18 year old self could not admit I grew up on an island and I couldn't swim, and I literally was unable to like I never read that question, never in my life. I just like moved past it. I was just like avoiding it the entire time. I don't know if you guys have ever done that where you see a question, you're like, no, nah, I'm not answering that. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> it happens quite often. Oh, wait, we got to go NATO. Otherwise, we get cooked. All right, does this Electro Dragon do anything? I hope it doesn't reset the tower onto the Electro Dragon. I think it does. That sucks. That's Barbro here. Kill the Spear Goblins. Did I miss one? I did. Wasted a little bit of time there, but it's like. Maybe we can get some extra damage because now the Golem Knights are going to do more and then the Barbarian's still alive and things are looking okay. Do we eat everything? Do we go Goblin Gang counter? Oh, wait, why are you doing that? Out of all the plays that you could have done, you chose that one. <laughs> that was not it. <laughs> I hope he fireballs or something. That would be funny. It doesn't have Miner for a minute, so I can go in for Elixir Collector here. I don't think that the Evo Barbs are going to give us anything, but I mean, if they get a hit, it's good. That's a vibe. All right, let's go Skeleton Dragons. Eat the damage. Go Lumberjack afterwards on top of the Cannon Cart. And just see if we can cook a little bit, you know? A slight cook. Not a slight simmer, if you will. That's what I would say. Uh, wow, the barbell's tanking too, so that's huge. This is really risky to do, but I'm going golem really far back. We can... No, no. 
Oh, that was so smart. Damn, I didn't expect him to actually be good at the game. That was that was it. That that cooked me. That was a really, really good play. Alright, so he's gonna fireball my tower and he's just gonna try to defend. Let's uh make sure he can't fireball on me. So I'm gonna try to do like skeleton dragons here as well and just all in. I need him to not be able to fireball me. He's gonna fireball on me. I lose. Yeah, that was it. Uh, he would have actually lost the game if um if that hadn't happened. He really would have lost the game. If he hadn't made that amazing I should have just I should have golemed in front of my tower. You live and you learn, you make those misplays once, and then you don't do it again. It is what it is. You kind of look like Hayden Bur uh, Byerly. I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, we need another Archer Queen. Yeah, no, you're not. I'm not. I'm just gonna ignore it. All right. Anything else, bro? You guys, you guys get ignored. All right. The the Queen Feet thing. I think we can meme around on that as much as possible. Hair's looking great today. Longer hair is goaded. Yeah, I I think having like the haircut where you keep the longer hair is where it's at. I think it just looks better. Would you consider this the best deck right now? It's the best deck for me right now. This is the top deck that I would say, if you just want to like learn how to play the game and just like climb up, it's really, really easy and fun deck. Pretty brainless. I like the fact that I can make misplays and still win. Go for Elixir Collectors, cycle Evo Barbs. Um, basically, the main push that I've showed you guys the entire time is Electro Dragon, Lumberjack, Golem on one side, and then Evo Barbs the other side, because then they can't fireball everything at once. Or if they don't have fireball, you can Lumberjack plus Evo Barbs. On, on the left side, while your uh, Electro Dragon or Skeleton Dragons are on the right. This matchup sucks because he's got Lightning and I don't, so I should lose. But I do have Barbarians, so maybe there's a bit of benefit from that perspective, but when you look at it from an organic sense of, hey, he will have an Elixir advantage the entire time, and I will not, then it's kind of tough. We're just going to do this and see what we can do. We're going to try to melt down that Golem as quickly as we can. If I can kill the Golem... Oh my god. He lightened on it again. That's just awful. This guy is a straight up savage. He's a psychopath. All right. Well, at least the lumberjack's able to melt down the golemites and then rage up my tower, so then I can clean up the rest of his stuff. I hope he's bad. Uh, that's probably not the right play for me, but I don't want to go bar barrel. Yeah, I think I go bar barrel here just to clean it up a little bit faster. Not gonna get as much damage on my tower. Actually, I don't take any. All right. Since we've got evil barbs, we could still make this happen. I think with Evo Barbs, I might be able to simply shred the entire Golem and win. That's the strategy here, guys. Maybe not even going Golem. Maybe just going Evo Barbs. Yeah, I think that's the play. Just go Evo Barbs as early as I possibly can. We can't break through it. And then we go Electro Dragon afterward, and then we clean it all up, and then we go Elixir Collector after we Lightning to Electro Dragon. Never mind. Not bad. Got Tornado, so then the, the B Dragon retargets. Dude, chill. Stop playing well. I, I hate this. I hate the fact that this guy actually seems really smart. Going in for that golem was the perfect opportunity because now he should be able to lighten me out. Man, everyone that we're playing against is good, and this guy had a good start. He got so lucky with the lightning. Because, like, if you if he didn't have that happen, I think he would have lost 100%. Kind of crazy to think about. He's going to lightning right now, at least. Yeah, there's no way I take tower, right? He's just going to go for uh, Elixir Collector, and then I, I can't break through. He should Elixir Collector, I think. It doesn't really matter, honestly. We have so much crap, and it's just not going to matter. So close, man. Oh, that is actually the worst way to lose. Whenever someone ends up having that happen, where they end up, like, going for a lightning early on when you know that you're going to win the matchup, it's just not a good feeling. It is what it is. Games like that do happen. Um, Elixir Collector, when your opponent has Elixir Collector early on and you don't, and you're forced to go Golem, sometimes you'll just get bad trades that will put you in a situation where you're going to be down too much damage. So in Elixir Collector versus Elixir Collector Golem matches, you never, 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 never want to be the second person to drop your Elixir Collector because your opponent will be up Elixir and then because you have the same cards essentially, um, you have to struggle to come back. It is what it is. Why not Phoenix instead of Skeleton Dragons? Because Skeleton Dragons are just a little bit better. Skeleton Dragons are just a little bit better on offense. They have a lot of health. They're one of the best cards to play right now in the game. We go Barbarians a bit earlier. Uh, I just want to kill the Princess. He's going to have Mega Knight. That was really bad on my end. Alright, we're gonna have to go Lumberjack here in the middle. And then we'll Barb Barrel. Oh my god. Wait. Well, since we have King Tower, we don't lose everything. Wait, wait, this is a good matchup. This is a good matchup. We're fine. I, I win this. I don't know why he's got Mega Knight plus Princess, but that's a good matchup for us. How do you feel about uh, Crusher 21? I don't really watch his content anymore. Um, the, the first thing that I watched was, uh, I think he did a lot of videos like KFC, and they were actually really well constructed, and they were, they were really well done. Um, 
But yeah, I haven't really watched this channel in a long time. I haven't really had the time to. I don't really watch other Clash Royale creators, to be honest. Just to be truthful for you guys. Like, I don't want to be disingenuous and be like, yo, I know every Clash Royale creator. I, oh, I watch all his videos. I see everything that he does. It's like, no, I don't do that. I don't think most people do. Or most content creators, I don't think they do. Alright, we're fine, right? We just killed the uh, Dark Prince and we're fine. Oh, there's... Okay, so I don't play with game sound. And this guy just put a hog rider underneath that. That's so lame. I literally lost this game because I didn't hear the hog rider because I don't play with freaking game sound. Oh, that is so tilting. So I, I play with game sound so you guys can hear it. But I specifically don't hear it because I don't want to. If I hear the game sound, the problem is um, it might go through my microphone and also the, uh, the, the tablet at the same time, right? Because like... I'm trying to record it clear as possible, and uh, that's just, that's the issue. Dang it, that's really rough. I don't think I win this, unless he really messes up. I mean, there's still a chance, right? This is a good matchup for us, it's just not the way that we wanted to go. Okay. I think we're just going to split these and see what we can do. Yeah, I'm dead. He should just defend the right, and I'm dead. It's actually insane that he dropped a hog rider underneath that and just dropped everything he had. Oh, that's so sad. But yeah, we had a whole bunch of bad losses in a row, guys. We'll bounce back. Um, I'm going to go and grab a coconut water and we'll keep playing, all right? We're going to refresh ourselves and we'll bounce back real quick, real quick. Bro, I know, that's crazy. That guy was so toxic? Nah. He's allowed to do whatever he wants, you know? Everyone's allowed to play the way that they want to play. Um, so congrats to him. He played that well, and obviously, maybe he knew. <laughs> maybe he knew, knew that I don't end up having a uh, game sound on. I love coconut water. Yeah, coconut water is delicious. Why is he being? I mean, he's bad. No, don't say that. Someone wins, just let them win, you know? Like, it doesn't matter. You guys, uh, you should never be too upset about that. Never never be mad when someone BMs me. Never be mad when someone beats me. You can be disappointed in yourself for not playing well or, like, not recognizing something. And then you can move to the next one and have that little bit of disappointment um, serve as an urge to remind yourself to be better in the future. But I don't know. I feel like um, dwelling on that type of stuff isn't worth Coconut water is underrated. Coconut water is S tier, man. It gives us great electrolytes. Asium. It's refreshing. Everything about it's good. As a wife, I've never had a wife, dude. Never. <laughs> I do not. I also do not want to get married for a long time. That is not something that's even on my radar. So with my ex, I was together with her for over like three years. Um, and then the girl I was with before that, I was with for two years. Maybe the next one will be four. <laughs> Hopefully more, but we'll have to wait and see, bro. We're going we're going in an ascending Wait, 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 wait. I think I legitimately went one, two, three, four on all the like situationships or relationships that I've had. That was pretty funny. I didn't really recognize that. Anyway, we're gonna go in for Evo Barbs here. This might be a bad decision. Just dropping them all on the same side. All right, we're just going to pull it. It's going to do one hit on my tower anyway. It doesn't really matter. Oh, it got two. That seriously sucks. I'm sorry, guys. I messed that up. Um, all right, so this matchup really isn't bad for me. I just go Golem, and then I go Skeleton Dragons when he goes in. Or I just sack everything and then go all in. I think I sack and attack. I think that's probably the play. All right, let's play a lot better in the next couple games. This game I did not play well. Um, I've done a lot to myself here where I'm down a lot of elixir. So, or I'm up a lot of elixir, but I'm down quite a bit. So hopefully we can play really well and make a comeback. This tornado is a bit risky, but I think it's worth it. Just go more electro dragons, more skeleton dragons. He's probably going to snowball this. 
the Electro Dragons might take tower? I don't know. I hope so. I feel like they should. If anything, like, I think the Electro Dragon really should. Yeah, that's good. Cool. That was really, that was awesome. So now he has to go all in, but he's not going to be able to. I've got Tornado, so I just pull it directly, like, to the King Tower. He can't do anything. He's just dead. <laughs> that was kind of cute. Here's the strategy. You just use the tornado and you pull it there. And then you're like, yo, GG. <laughs> this is actually the freest matchup in existence, but I made it a lot, a lot harder than it needed to be. There's no way. There's a 0% chance that you're able to stop that. Especially with like, the electric dragon like cheating on your stuff. Well played. Uh, I played like trash. <laughs> I like how he said well played. We know. We all know that that was sarcastic. There was no way that that guy seriously thought I played well after that. Got him? Thanks, guys. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> all right. JB, uh, JBZ? No. Uh, I broke up. We broke up uh, a while ago. Well played? Yes, sir. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Is Evolve Knight better in Mortar or Expo decks? I would say Evolve Knight is definitely better in Expo decks because um, it's just it's just inherently going to be cycled more there. Uh, Mortar, you would rather use the Mortar Evolution just because it does more damage. I think the Mortar Evolution is actually still like super underplayed. I think it's definitely one of the best evolutions in the game. As I'm trying to dig to my Elixir Collector, I'm just going to go in for a bar, uh, bar Brill here and we'll see if he makes a bad play. kind of hoping he does, to be honest. Yeah, like that's a trash play. You can't do that. 90% of the time you can. Maybe he's able to and get away with it and he gets lucky, but just so much Elixir spent. If we can kill the Battle Healer, then we go for Elixir Collector immediately and then we just relish in our fact that he is down so much. He probably activates King Tower with this Lumberjack, but I don't even care. <laughs> he's just gonna eat it! You, you eating good tonight right now, sir! Damn! Hmm. Her loss, bro? Uh, keep your head up? Oh, no. It was not either of our losses. Both good people. It's just like um, one of those things, you know, like when you have breakups and stuff like that a while back, it, um, at least for me, I've never been able to say that uh, at least, okay, that's a lie. Any person that you've seen me actually have a long-term relationship with, they're all great people. And I've never said anything bad about them. I've never been able to. Even to my friends, like at the end, they're like, Sometimes my friends are like, oh, you're better. They're like, not nice or whatever. I'm like, you know, they're actually really good people. It's just like, <laughs> it's just sometimes uh, people just have different interests and stuff or different uh, values or different things that they prioritize. And when that happens, they're just not a good match. And that's what happened um, every single time that I've broken up with someone, actually. Besides, oh, man, the, there was a couple things that happened when I was younger because you've never seen them. I w I'll tell you guys more so about that, but... Oh man, they were they were some really awkward experiences where some of the girls were just not necessarily like the nicest or not necessarily people that I wanted to hang out with um, after I realized it. Like, I think when I was like 17 or 16, um, <laughs> there, there were some experiences that were not great. Uh, I like went to Connecticut uh, to hang out with a girl and it didn't go so well. And then she like texted her friend saying like... Um, He's cute and fun to be around, but, like, I don't want to see him again. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, great. And then um, I was, like, I, seeing that on the phone, like, and then, like, going back in a train, it was awful. There was some other stuff, but, like, I'm not going like, to go into super depth about that. But that was, like, one of the worst moments I had in my, like, because uh, we, we had, like, a fling for a little bit. We had a fling for, like, I guess, like, a summer. And then seeing that, it was like, oh, shit. That's just, like, such a heart. Because I had, like, a three-hour bus ride back and i was just crying i was literally just sitting there and crying on the on the train and then there was this really attractive girl that um was like 26 or something or 25 like almost like young 20s right she um was getting hit on the entire time and then she came up to me and she's like oh why are you crying are you okay <laughs> she felt so bad for me it was really funny <laughs> um but yeah that that was uh that was that was jake riz when he was young cry so hard that people <laughs> come and try to help you uh tag t oh uh, yeah dude i have so many stories i have so many mimi stories um i have a lot to tell you guys yeah i, th I think y'all would enjoy those i would i'm never gonna say personal stuff about other people though um and even if things 
like, I don't know. I, I would never say personal things about other people. Is all I'm gonna say. Um, you guys will never know their names or like actually um, know the person or ever be able to find the person that I'd be talking about ever. But yeah, that was pretty funny. I think that was definitely one of the biggest meme moments that I've had. I'll never forget that one. I'll never forget that one. Um. Also, like, oh, geez. So I was homeschooled and stuff, and then uh, I didn't understand a lot of innuendos. And uh, I think one of the worst things is, like, girls were making, like, more more so references uh, on Snapchat that I was not understanding. It was pretty funny. Like, I was... I think they thought that I was just genuinely, um, like, stupid sometimes. So it was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a good time. It was definitely a good time. I think... Yeah, I don't even know if I want to say it, but yeah, it was pretty, pretty bad. All right, let's just go for this and then Lumberjack and then see if we can make something happen here. It'd be cool if the Lumberjack, Skeleton Dragons, and all that stuff can take a tower because good, you know. Hypothetically, I think it can. Yeah, it does take tower. Wow, that was really cool. Very nice. I am seriously surprised that that works so well, but I will take it. All right, sure, you can go even Knight. I don't care. Stay less, bro. Let's just tornado this back, not lose our tower. No big deal. Okay, we're gonna lose our tower, never mind. Big deal. I think I should have defended that with a lumberjack in the right, and I probably would have won the game, like instantly. Why do I suck so much? <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I really should have defended the, the right with the lumberjack. No way he would have been able to stop that. Barbarian's in the poison, like a boss. Like a balls. All right. Um. Go elixir collector in the back, right, and see if we can do anything with this. Oh, please say that this knight does not lock on my freaking elixir collector. Oh my god. I hate my life. <laughs> How did that happen? <sighs> My brain cells are deteriorating. I played so well until I didn't. This matchup, because they've got Ice Wizard Knight and uh, Baby Dragon, it's a huge matchup advantage. Like, this is the hardest matchup for this deck. The fact that it was close was pretty cool. But I, I threw it because I didn't stop the uh, Lumberjack. Or the uh, the Knight. The Knight Evo that took my tower is so insane. It broke through everything. There's no way I stopped this because he just poisons and Baby Dragons and Ice Wizards and has too much splash damage. You can't really win this matchup if you're playing against someone semi-good. And they play decent. But he made a lot of misplays and he actually gave me an opportunity, which is kind of funny. Alright, we're just going to do this. Maybe this is a bad graveyard on his end. I hope it is. I don't think it is, but, you know, we can wish. One can wish. Why are you barbarrowing that? He's actually just not playing very well, but I don't think it matters. We can, like, tornado here. Get onto the tower, you know. You feel me, my dudes? Not gonna happen. Yeah, I, I genuinely tried my hardest. This matchup is 100-0 in his favor if he plays it, like, decent. So, it, it should have been a win. I should have just tried to defend the Lumberjack, because if I... Or, sorry, the Knight, because he graveyarded it, and he had, like, 20 seconds. He wouldn't have been able to do anything. Your, your background is so clean. Is that a green screen? No, it's not a green screen. Uh, some lights that we have. All right, all right. So, Tag, stop ignoring me. What is the hottest Clash Royale card in your opinion, Tag? Dude, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't really uh, look at Clash Royale cartoons and think that they're attractive. Do you think that there's a good minor wallbreaker deck for Arena 16? Um, yeah, the Spear Goblins Wallbreakers Magic Archer one. I already made a video on it. You could go check that out. I think it was yesterday's video, actually. You're the best streamer? Yes, sir. Pekka is the hottest for sure. Dude, you haven't even seen the Pekka, though. At least I don't think you have. I didn't want to Lumberjack into that. I'm just going to go Golem. It's okay. Even if you Hog Rider's other side, it's fine. Ideally, that wouldn't have been a Hog Rider because I didn't have Tornado in Cycle, but I'm going to get, like, two hits, not three, so it's like... As long as he doesn't have Tornado as well, I think we're okay. Sometimes they have Tornado and it does not feel good. All right, let's go for, like, uh, Skeleton Dragons here. 
Hence. Oof. This is looking like a Mega Knight deck, actually, but it's not. Could be a tough one. I don't rat I really don't like being put in this type of situation where I don't have much elixir to deal with all of their stuff. It's just Barbrill here. I did I did not play this well. That's seven elixir on defense. I have nothing. You could go for a hog rider and do a tornado, which would make me happy, but I don't think you would. Wait, why wouldn't you activate King Tower? That's a full HP tower that you have on the left. You should have used that. All right, when you go for Barbarians, it will kill the Hog Rider. I kind of want to save our Tornado because he doesn't really know what we have. And I can use Tornado on the Firecracker, maybe? Firecrackers? I'm considering it. Did he Mega Knight? I bet you he's got Mega Knight. Yeah, he seems like that type of dude. All right. I'm going to go Golem. I think Golem in here is not a bad play because if you go Lumberjack, it's not going to shut it down. Electro Wizard and Golem are um, pretty incompatible too. Like the Electro Wizard does not do so well here. You can go for Skeleton Dragons, you can go Lumberjack. I think going Skeleton Dragons is best because they'll just stay alive for a while. Harder for our opponent to kill it. A little bit better. Might even kill the Prince where the Lumberjack I don't think would. I think the Lumberjack would just die. So this is much better. Maybe we kill the Prince. Maybe I don't. Might be close. That's gonna get hit. Fine. Okay, we'll just fire Brill here. We'll use Tornado. Light work, light work. Perfect. Look at that defense, guys. We stopped the knight from locking onto our tower too. That's what I'm talking about. That's how I get fired up. When I play well like that, no one can stop us. Hell yeah. Evo Barb's up in here too. Hell yeah. Barbro on top of the Firecracker, stay less. He's going to go Mega Knight, and then it's going to die to a whole bunch of our spam. We're totally okay here. In fact, I can go plop down a freaking Golem at the river. Declaration of Dominance. Hey, he's dead. This is over. GG! Red Rover, Red Rover, I will roll you over. Even if you've got the luck of a Clover. Already over. All right, GG. That was a very easy win. You're the first golem player that I have seen defend. Uh, golem players at the higher level all defend. They all play decks like this now. No golem player does anything other than this. If you just play golem night witch and you spam, you're running like elixir golem. Then you're not running uh, this golem deck. Golem deck does require a little bit more skill. Are you going to stream until you hit Ultimate Champion? Yeah, yeah. I'm streaming until I hit Ultimate Champion. No matter how long it takes, I will do it today. Try my deck tag? Uh, I'm not going to try anyone's deck today. I'm purposely just trying to hit Ultimate Champion. So I'm going to run decks that I'm comfy with. Also, it's cool. I like having longer, relaxing streams with you guys. Have you enjoyed this? Have y'all been a part of the action just vibing with me and just like, I don't know, um, enjoyed me playing against good players? Because a lot of the people we're playing against are extremely good. Almost everyone that I lost against was like a top 200 player. When we looked at their profiles, lots of top 50s, lots of stuff like that. Uh... He expected me to go Elixir Collector in the back and made a prediction? I... Rocket King, you kind of lost your name, bro. I, I don't understand. That was, that was not it. <laughs> You're down so much elixir. I mean, I'm going to golem. You're down so much that I can actually freaking golem. None of that matters anymore. That's off to the right, so we're just going to adjust and use our bar, bro. Plus one elixir trade again. What goof? Who predicts collectors? Uh, Sometimes I do with miners for fun. But usually not. All right. Um, I tried to get the skeleton dragons in front. I thought we could maybe do something. Didn't work out. It's all good though. Wait a little bit, then I'll go elixir collector again. I'll Evo Barb's eat the goblin barrel. Definitely better to do something like this where you kill the princess, so then it doesn't do infinite damage, and then just eating the goblin barrel is like not the worst thing in the world. All right, we can tornado, so then the princess definitely dies. Maybe not. I need one hit. I should get it. Nice. If that didn't die, I was going to cry. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's run it back, baby. Let's run it back. So. Well, 
Wait, I messed up. I, he could actually hit both of them at the same time. I actually suck. What am I doing? Off to the left. Drop another goal, maybe. Keep it up. Probably what we gotta do. It's gonna be a tough one. These guys are playing so defensive, man. Can we princesses too? So annoying. Can the lumberjack just, you know, kind of like rage up my electric dragon and allow me win? Okay, cool. Hogpate is such a nuisance. I need to start using Evo Barbs more, so I'm going to start doing the barbs on the, that side, and then, I guess, like, activating King Tower. Delta Dragons afterward. Lumberjack here. Alright, Barbrill. Elixir Collector. We gotta just go in for one more big push. That's the only way I win. Let's go. I don't hope you need rocket at the wrong time. I can't believe in front Tower Evo Knight is this strong. I'm seriously so surprised. Alright, we gotta just do something like this and then pray that it works. working <laughs> it's not working <laughs> how is he able to defend this i don't even think he's like playing perfectly he's just dropping low in fire towers <sighs> what the heck he's not even rocking on defense man it's actually crazy i'm so surprised right now that's actually insane yeah Okay, well, I do think that that knight needs a nerf and maybe the Infar Tower, but it is what it is. Not That was not a fun game. That was really not a fun game. I think Cycle Cards definitely do need a nerf. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys let me know. Um, I think Cycle Cards are a little bit unfair sometimes. Uh, maybe that's just me internally raging about that, but that's just, that's not a fun match. Wow. That was literally just Infar Tower every second. But we jump on the next one. Vogbait hard counters your deck, even though he played it bad. You lost because of the matchup. I, I don't know about that, man. It wasn't a fun match. I think I could have maybe won if I used Evo Barbs a little bit more. But I was kind of expecting him to rocket or something more than he did. So, I don't know. Weird game. All good, though. No worries. Just GG's and bounce on the next one. Always a good day to catch a Sir Tag stream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looked frustrating. Yeah, it was. <laughs> You can tell it's frustrating when I comment on it a lot, you know? When I talk about it, I'm like, yeah, I didn't vibe with that. You know. You know. You know how it is. Alright, let's do this. Alright, we're going to let the Musketeer lock, then we go Magic Archer on the Mortar. Ah, oh, That was such an easy prediction for him, and he just made it, yeah. So, I guess, like, here's the issue, guys. I try to give my opponent uh, less credit, and then that's what happens. You can't give your opponent that... Oh, because it was targeting the knight. I wasn't able to activate King Tower with that. Oh, man. What a tragic game. This guy is playing so well, and now I'm dead. Yeah, he caught me in a situation where he caught the Magic Archer, and now he's just going to win. I think these players are just a little bit better. Time for deck swap? Yeah, we're switching to another deck after this, too. We're just going to run something easy. We're going to run something like a little bit less brain power. Um... Maybe the Arrows Minor deck with, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to run the Arrows Skeleton Dragons uh, E-Barbs Revolve Barbs Minor deck. I think I'll just run something like that. Um, the Golem deck is really, really fun. It's a great deck to play, but for whatever reason, that Log Bait deck, it tilted me to a different dimension. Did not. That, that was not fun. Um, we'll still play this one out, and we'll still see if we can win, but it's looking like an L. The reason why I think it's an L is obvious, because like I'm down so much chip damage, and I'm running a chip deck into another chip player. If I was running Golem, this would be very winnable and achievable, but when I put myself in this spot, then it's really hard. I'm going to go in for the King Tower activation. So notice this, I don't take any damage. This is what would have happened. I get to at least show you guys the interaction, right? So you don't take any damage, you activate King Tower, it's a great play. 
If you are able to do that, you'll get great pause elixir trades and then look at yourself and be like, wow, now I defended against the skeleton barrel for three for three, but look at me. So, something to keep in mind, you can do that. Ball of Mortar comes through. Bit of a nuisance. All right, do the Spear Goblins lock on? I guess so. So we can log here. Man, it's going to be such a satisfying experience when we eventually hit Ultimate Champion. It's taking way longer than I thought. Uh. All right, we can go in for a Knight. A Wall Breaker is here, a Miner. Spear Goblins after. Damn. Games be going good. We actually may be able to do something here, guys. Maybe I'm... No, nah, he's just going to fireball. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I was like so happy for a second. I was like, yo, we got something. We got some moves. But I took so much damage at the start just because he made a prediction on the Magic Archer. But he saw it. He knew it was going to happen. And he uh, mentally was ready for it. And then I got finessed. So. Unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes your opponent's just too good. He's going to fireball, so I lose. Do you dodge questions that you're not too keen on answer? I feel like you should do that if you don't already. Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> do you think Do you think I read every question? Do you think there's a question that I look at and I'm like, yes, I will answer everything every time? No, I don't do that. Of course I don't, man. All right. Um, take a quick look. Trying to take a quick gander at what I want to play right now. If there was any decks that I was like, yo, I really like these. It's... There's there's a lot of different decks that I do enjoy, but um, for right now, like, man, games right now have been pretty crazy. Um, Oh, I found one. This guy. Sparky! Let's see how it works. Let's run it. I'll show the deck afterwards if I want to keep playing it. You like soda? I hate fizzy stuff, man. I really don't like uh, I don't like soda at all. Never been a fan. Never been a fan, bro. Go for a Zapparino. And I haven't played this deck in a minute. Not played this deck in a while. All right, we're going to go Mother Witch in the back. We're going to get a ton of piggies there. And then I think we could be okay with a Goblin Giant and then going pretty aggressive. He's going to Fireball on me. That's fine. Fireball on the Mother Witch. Goblin Gang as well is kind of wasted. That's decent. And go for like a heal spirit here. Wait, why do you have fireball and goblin giant as well? Interesting. All right, this heal spirit. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He's screwed. He lost. It's all right, GG. Especially since I have zap. <laughs> oh my god. You guys saw that, right? Y'all just saw the instant annihilation that this guy got. Holy. There's no reason for that to happen. Wow, that's crazy. Y'all saw that, right? There are a lot of different things I could have done. I could have just went barbs on it anyway. Um, It wasn't recent, Unknown. I told you it wasn't that recent. Like, you know, I waited a while to be able to talk about it. That's the only reason it's been on stream. You know? I'm doing okay, man. You don't have to worry about me. Usually when I'm hurting about stuff, I don't really talk about it to the public because then I would be like crying and stuff, bro. Just full transparency. That's the reason why, bro. You know, you know. You don't know, now you know. I think it'd be a really bad idea to be super emotional on stream and stuff like that. Um, you all played him? I, I don't think so, man. I think I got like a pretty good, uh, got a pretty good thing. Um, y'all get, y'all gotta stop asking the same questions, though. There's like 10 people as well asking the same Arena 16 deck too earlier. And then that thing, that question has been up a lot. All right, we're just gonna go for Evolve Barbs as well. Um, we can go for a Sparky Goblin Giant, then probably win with that. I think Sparky Goblin Giant is probably the play. Alright, we can go Heal Spirit, we can go in for like, Goblin Giant. Back on the tag train here? I mean, we never left, bro. We never left the tag train out here. Alright, we're gonna go Mother Witch. And we'll go Barbs. What's the point in Ultimate Champion? I just one uh, win multiplayer uh, next season and a uh, 12k gold. Uh, it's just an element of prestige. Like you want to be in the highest arena. You want to be in the highest rank. You want to be saying that you're the best player in the game or one of the best players in the game. That's generally what happens for a lot of people. That's all it is. Nothing else other than that, man. We appreciate you, Tags is Chaos. I appreciate you, Chaos. You're, you're always in my life. <laughs>
Uh, do you think I'm asking the same questions as others? I'm changing it up every time. No, you're asking... Well, sometimes you're asking the same questions as others. Most of the time, you're not. What's the most memorable famine attraction? Uh, I don't really like saying fan. I like saying viewers, right? And I've only met two people in person. Both of them were really cool. I think the first one that was most memorable was when I was on the plane ride to Seattle uh, to live here. I, was, I met someone for the first time. That was a really cool experience. Um, I don't think I'll ever forget that. The person I was right next to me on the plane actually knew who I was. I didn't talk to him until the end. I think it's really cool to have that happen. How many piggies can I get? Oh man, he's just dead. Yeah, he's just dead. Game's already over. GG, go next. <laughs> no way for him to defend this, right? 0% chance. He's down so much elixir. He had already dropped all of his stuff. Yeah. I, the thing I like about this stack is... Um, it's, it's good to win games. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I like when my opponents do not play well. You know, that's a good time. I appreciate that behavior. Does Mother Witch fully counter? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I guess not. Let's go for a zap to reset the Skeleton Dragon so then they all get turned into pigs and then we can go for Barbarians in the middle. And then just... Over, oh yeah, he's just dead. He just doesn't want to play anymore. I, I, I concur with that. I probably would as well. I'd probably just roll over and like leave. <laughs> This deck is so good. Uh, where did you live before Seattle? I went to Boston, or I was living in Boston my entire life, and that's what happened. I want to meet Sir Tag and give him a big hug, no joke. Dude, I would love that. <laughs> uh, I just want to, everything in my life, keep up the positivity, continue to bless amazing content every single day. Love you, everything you stand for. Thanks, man. I appreciate that a lot. Please read a pink line off the screen. The overlay is OCD. There's a pink line on the left of the screen. Where? Oh, my bad. I'll fix that really right now. Is that better? Oops. Um. Let me fix that. Cause sometimes I uh. Ah. All right, it's getting smaller, getting smaller, getting smaller. Oh, is it fully fixed? All right, let's just do that and then one sec. That's probably about, wait, I want to figure that out because my face cam, like right here, we can do this. All right. That should look better. I fixed it. So now there's no, uh, no thing anymore. Let me know if that's better. Let me know if that's better. I just did the easier fix. The, uh, the fix where I removed, like, um, I removed something. I removed like part of the face cam. I removed the, um, the back screen of the face cam. The back. So thank you on that. If there's anything else, if there's any OCD things, you guys let me know. I'll fix them. Go barbarians in the back so we can get the evolution as quickly as we can. What else happens? Fixed. It's better now. Goodbye, pink line. <laughs> Dude, it sounds so bad, pink line. Also, um, I, I don't know. It sounds like some type of disease, bro. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I, I, was, I was tripping for a sec. I was like, my man's out here saying goodbye to pink line. I, feel, I mean, I'm, that's a good thing, right? Then I realized it was, uh, I don't know. It was funny. All right, we want to get a couple piggies down here. Wow, that works so well. Why is it every game so easy with this deck? Why wasn't I playing this the entire time? People just spam into Mother Witches and they lose. Like, for real. Like, this meta, people just spam into Mother Witches and they lose. This doesn't make any sense. Someone make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. Oh my god, he's doing the exact same thing. All right, we're just going to do this, and we'll go in, and we'll win. It's over, right? He's down so much elixir. He can't defend this, because there's two evil barbs on the back end. Goblin Giant's coming through. He's just dead. He's just dead. A terrible hog rider executioner push. Really bad decision. And then he gets spanked, because he shouldn't have done it. Spanked, sir. It's spanked out here. 
That was so clean. Uh, thank you for the bit of the face cam. I couldn't stop staring at it. says Pinkadilly. Yo, Pinkadilly, you, your comments in the chat and your comments in the uh, comment section have always made me happy. So I just want to say thanks again, man. You're a really good guy. And uh, yeah, it just makes me happy seeing you in the YouTube comments. I don't love the game as much anymore. I don't have the time. Um, it's still fun to watch your videos. Keep it up. Yeah, no worries, man. I think that's one of the most... Uh, like said comments that I have in the channel and it it still makes me happy to see that every time. I love um, knowing that y'all still like want to watch my content even if you don't play. It's kind of cool. All right, let's just go Goblin Giant in the middle and then Mega Minion on top of his uh, P.E.K.K.A. wherever he's going to drop it. Can even zap here and then win. Nice. Evo Barbs as well, maybe? Very cool. But yeah, I mean, I might lose a tower here and there. It doesn't really matter. We can go for Goblin Giants. We can go in for a lot of spam, and we can just walk on to the next one. Hopefully, you're having a good day, man. Yeah, dude, I've been winning a lot of games in a row, and we've kind of had a huge comeback. Like, I was struggling really hard, and then we found, like, possibly the easiest deck in the meta to beat people and climb up a, a trophy road without losing many games. It's really ridiculous that we had a redemption arc like this, and we just won everything. Like, the, it doesn't make sense. You know, you would assume that you would struggle for a while, but this was just easy. How do you find all these decks? Uh, I usually talk to pro players and stuff like that. So this is the deck that I'm currently playing. We won three games in a row. So let's just see if we can continue to, to go higher and higher, elevating our strength, elevating our spam, and elevating our wins. All right, we need five more wins in a row. But how can you play against Lava Hound? I'll just use Mega Minion and Mother Witch. It's not going to be that bad at all. That That's a pretty easy matchup, actually. Go Heal Spirit, test the waters, and see what he's going to do. Mother Witch is going to get finessed by a Fireball. Let's just go for the Barbarians anyway. Even if he logs, it's okay. Wait, we're okay here. We might kill the Mortar. No Mortar in Cycle. No oh, Goblin Giant. No no Mortar. I want him to spam something so I can defend with Mega Minion and then Goblin Giant and Rage. I think it's probably a good strategy. Let's just Goblin Giant anyway. Because he doesn't have Mortar in Cycles. So it's harder. I should have dropped it on the right-hand side. That would have been smarter. Ice Spirit. He actually got back to it. That's crazy. Not think that would be a thing. I really didn't think that would be possible. Also, why does he have guards? Oh, no. Couldn't you have had any other card besides the guards, bro? Oh, that's tragic. It's actually truly tragic that he put in guards in his deck. It didn't even make sense. They're not that good. I mean, it makes sense to use them, I guess, sometimes, but not a card that I wanted to see. This is a very bad matchup for me. I bet you he logs the Sparky. Maybe he drops like... Yeah, he's going to log because he doesn't want to drop guards. Yep. I would do as well. Use this poison on the Sparky earlier so we can just go Mother Witch in the back and be okay. Doesn't have log in cycle. So maybe we can do this. Heal Spirit, Evo Barbs. Damn everything in the right and just see what happens. I mean, there's always... Oh my gosh. If I had zapped and... Uh, Raged at the same time, I would have just won. That's so sad. I did not expect a minion horde in there because it doesn't... Again, doesn't make much sense. Okay, at least I can zap and rage in the future and he's probably not going to be prepared for it. So there's that. Here's the bad thing. He's got Mortar Evolution, so he's just going to drop that right now. With the guards. Yeah, I got hard countered really hard here. I did not expect him to be running that. So we'll just jump on to the next one, guys. Um, you can't get good matchups in every single game you play. Sometimes you get bad ones. This is actually a really, really bad one. Also, when you're running beatdown decks like us, um, you kind of have to make every decision. Like, when you commit, it has to be a good decision. So this one was not a great one. We'll just say GG and well played, and we'll bounce on the next one. Kind of a, kind of annoying that we matched into someone with Guards Minion Horde with uh, a Musketeer. Like, usually it would be Mighty Miner, Ice Spirit, uh, Mortar Evolution with, like, a Hog Rider or a Miner. And uh, that would be what it is, but you know, it is ladder. Sometimes people have Ice Spirit plus Minion Horde and Guards all in the same deck. That is what it is. Sir Tag, uh, someone just went into the clan about 40 members. What do I do? Uh, just gave me their clan. I mean, you can make your own decision on that. Generally, like the smaller decisions in life, like joining a clan and stuff, just do whatever you feel. It doesn't matter. There's no, there's really no impact there. If you join the clan, it's going to be fun for you, maybe. And if not, then it is what it is. You know, you can kind of have fun wherever you were. All right, so Dark Prince goes in the back. We can go for Mega Minion on the same side. Bro, I'm Rocket King. GG. 
You tilted me out of my deck. I, I switched it to something else. All right, we're going to go for Barbarians here. We can go Goblin Giant if we need to. Is the Lava Hound with Evil Barb still broken in your opinion? I think it's really good. Yeah, it's still a top tier deck. Wow. Is that actually a strategy? You just drop it? You know, damn it. Let's do this. Let's see what we can do. Zap as well so we can hopefully kill the Phoenix Egg, but I guess not. Oh, he's going to pull the Piggy instead. Actually, really, really good for us. I can't believe we got ahead on that. That is, that is insane. I was really, really lucky. All right, so how do I win this? I think Goblin Giant is not a bad play. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think it's bad, though. Especially since we counter the Fisherman, force out the cage. Sparky in the back could be okay on the right-hand side. Preclude any potential. We know he's going to end up having um, Royal Giants, so I don't, I don't want to just... I mean, he's also got Dark Prince. It's kind of crazy. Nice. All right, let's just do it. Let's run it. Let's do what we can do. Even if he logs, it doesn't matter. He's going to lose the Sparky, uh, lose the Sparky there. Good. I don't have Elixir to support this that much, so I'm just going to Mega Me in the back. I'll let the Sparky do its thing. Fine. Sparky's dead. <sighs> Alright, so we need to make like a zap on top of the Fisherman when he drops it and like mess it up. Or we could do that. But the fact that he's also going to have Goblin Cage and Fisherman is kind of concerning. No, I lost. Unless, 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 no way. Nah, I can't defend that. All right, let's go spark the other side. Stop the three crown. Light work out here. Um, wait, I need to stop the three crown. Why didn't that stop the three crown? Oh man, that's so sucky. All right, hopefully the next game that we play into, our opponent doesn't have Goblin, KG, and Fisherman in the same deck with the Dark Prince, but... Ugh. Gosh, Ralph. I love you. I love you, game. I love you, game. All right, we got two hard carries in a row after getting two good matchups. I think that uh, Sparky is definitely a little bit more matchup-oriented. <clears throat> Sometimes you can get someone to go in for, like, a Tombstone at the start and get an amazing start or Graveyard. Sometimes you can literally play into someone with Dark Prince, Fisherman, and then also Goblin, Cage. So that was uh, a tougher game, I guess. But I don't think we're going to get those that often. I feel like you should hit the... <laughs> I don't. I actually don't drink or smoke, actually, man. Believe it or not, I actually don't. Um, I also... Uh, I have no qualms or worries for anyone that does drink or smoke. You know, I just make my own personal choice. I'm never going to ever like tell people what they should or can't do. Um, I feel very strongly on that. Everyone should be able to do their own choices in life. As long as they're not hurting other people. Um, you should make a live stream where you just talk to the chat. I mean, that could be a vibe, too. Right now we're kind of in the business of winning because I want to get it. I want to get ultimate champion already. All right. Definitely a weird play from him. I don't think anything that he did there was good. Down a lot of elixir and uh, he sacrificed everything and didn't get anything from it. So he's down like four elixir bare minimum. I can go in for a goblin giant with a sparky and see if we can cook. I drink and smoke. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> no, you're not, dude. You're just making your own life choices. And you should be allowed to make your own life choices. All right, we're going to go Mother Witch here, and then he's probably in a Valkyrie or something. Yeah, that's not good for us. Probably lost my tower, actually. Yeah, I definitely lost my tower. Wait, the Heal Spirit kept the Mega Man alive, though. I mean, not that bad for us. Not yet. I didn't lose my tower, guys. I'm seriously surprised that I kept the tower alive. Rage is clutch. All right, so the guy is going to end up having, like, Valkyrie. I kind of forgot all his cards, honestly. Nothing wrong with a little... Yeah, I mean, if you enjoy things in life, it's fine. Oh, it's a Lava Hound deck. That's so weird. The Fly Machine, like, Valkyrie, Lava Hound. I don't know, man. It's super whack. All 
Alright, he's got Fireball too. This is kind of annoying, but... Feel something... Lost his Mother Witch! Or maybe that wasn't a Mother Witch. I forget whatever it was, but it was funny. Oh, he does have Mother Witch with... Why does he have Mother Witch with this? I wasn't tripping. No, I suck. Oh, 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 it didn't hit my tower. Why didn't I rage on the Valkyrie? Obviously, because I knew it wouldn't get a hit. Obviously, I'm so intelligent. Yes, guys, pro tactics, pro plays. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're not, we're not going to talk about that. We're not talking about that, bros. No one has to know how we messed that up. You guys, it's just us. It's just a, it's a, it's a secret between us forever. That was the most lucky win? 100% most lucky win. I also played well at the start, but then afterwards it was really bad. So, yes, very lucky win. All right, let's just rage that as soon as we possibly can so we can get the Barbarians closer to the tower. We can go Wall Breakers. I guess I have to go for a Zap here. Heal Spirit's probably not enough. All right, so this is good. I'm just going for a Mega Minion. I think we've cleaned it all up. I'm just waiting for his uh, spam. Their are going to be a nuisance. They're going to do a lot of damage to my tower. All right, we want to go on the same side that he has his damage. We see Miner. We see Spirit Goblins. We see Knight. So it's probably that Magic Archer deck. Magic Archer is like, not great into us. It's still hard for him to play, so it'll be fun. It's pretty good, actually, but it's like not the end of the world. Oh, uh, I guess I eat the Wall Breakers. And then we see what we can do. That's a good log on his end. Smart play. Smart play. Oh, wait. The knight uh, just doesn't take anything. I forget about that. Oh, that's good. I actually kill the knight. Knight's out, knight. Maybe he'll go spear goblins again. I don't know. Let's just go Evo Barbs and then maybe go Goblin Giant other side. See if he goes in for his Bomb Tower and he does. I would love to bustle our way through this uh, this Bomb Tower, but not really looking great. But she says he got the Knight down. The fact that he forced out the Evo Barbs is kind of concerning, but it's whatever. Five Piggies. Pretty good. Nothing to write home about, but it's decent. Wait, that's a lot of damage, actually. You really messed that one up. Wait, we can go in for a Mother Witch again. How many piggies this time? Oh, he's got Fireball. Why didn't he use that the entire time? That's funny. All right. Gonna rage up the Sparky. You guys know the deal. Nice. Log doesn't kill the Sparky. Sparky gets the shot. We win. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> awesome. That's a good win. <laughs> also, I'm sorry. I just screamed at my computer after winning a game of a mobile game. I've been playing Clash Royale for how many hours? <laughs> Actually, I take back that apology. I meant it. That was a serene let's go. That was a realistic let's go. As a mobile gaming athlete, let's go. Best reward is 10k elite wildcards, then you can stop grinding uh, League. Uh, you can if you want, but like I kind of want to just play the game. You know, I really enjoy playing Clash Royale. So believe it or not, it's kind of a vibe. How often do you get tilted? I mean, you just watch me play for two and a half hours and I haven't really made progress. So you can answer that question yourself on your own definition of tilt. Um, everyone has own different different definitions. For me, I think that this this time I got tilted. Um, I don't know. Still had fun though. Nice. 
So I'm trying to think of a way to win this. Um, obviously, the Sparky going into that is not really that fun. I'm going to be holding my Mother Witch. Like, she's my most prized possession in my life. And we'll see what happens. What's the most hated deck in your opinion? Uh, Expo with um, Rocket. It used to be my most hated. I don't know what my most hated is anymore. All right, let's just steal some pigs. Wait, is this the the old graveyard freeze deck with Rascals that was like super OP with Goblin Hut, and then I got a nerf? I think that's literally what he's playing. This deck is not that good anymore. Come on. Heal Spirit doesn't even heal at the Mega Minion, so it's not that good for us. Um, I do have Evo Barb, so he can't go in. It'd be really bad if he graveyarded right now. It'd be really, really foolish. Yeah, he did it anyway. He might click the ability and go other side. I don't know what I expect, honestly. Let's push it off with the Goblin Giant. Be okay. Got the Evo Barb's, Evo Barb's counter pushing anyway. Um... Oh, yeah, he's screwed, actually. Yeah, he just lost. So, he's a top 500, top 400 player or whatever. Remember looking at his profile? Uh, this guy got destroyed. He did not expect to get finesse like that. And then we can go for Mother Witch because the Spear Goblins already give us three piggies. That's like built-in offense that I don't have to worry about. Very cool. And also going for a Sparky here as well, if we want to. Hmm. Rage on defense. He froze. Ugh, this guy's annoying. Okay, cool. Sparky's still going to stay alive somehow. Did not expect that to work. <laughs> Jeez, that was not good. Wait, I really just threw. I just threw. I just threw. I can't defend this. Guys, I lost. Unless we get super lucky. He's going to freeze. I'm dead. That Mega Minion, or that Mighty Miner is about to do a million. Unless the piggies do enough. Oh! Let's go. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm done with the let's go, but I'm actually so hyped. I'm so hyped. Oh, this guy again. 500 in the world, 800 in the world, 500 in the world. Oh, so good. A good win. Good work, guys. Good work. Is this real chat? Yeah, no, this is real. <laughs> Someone getting way too hyped about a mobile game. <laughs> uh, share a mobile moment, uh, a tournament or match that had an impact on your career. Okay, so I, in King's Cup, um, I traveled to Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and I played in a tournament um, that was held by YouTube, and I won $5,000. And that was the biggest moment in my Clash Royale experience because I, for that moment on, I, I thought, wait, maybe this is something that I would want to pursue a little bit more. Like winning $5,000 is like a life changing moment right you look at it and you're just mesmerized by the fact that that happened right so for me i i couldn't believe it so definitely something that uh i was a bit shocked about nice yeah man it was a good vibe it was definitely a good time he's gonna go drop like some bait card i didn't really want to make a prediction or anything go heal spirit afterward go for a mother witch comes in with the poison that's fine just go for the barbarians in the back left because we know that it's not that scary. Um, we just, we're just trying to get the evolution as quickly as we can. So, so whatever. We're just cycling them, seeing what happens. We can go for a Sparky in the back with a Goblin Giant, and then uh, we can see if we can cook a little bit. But yeah, not gonna stress about anything. If we go for a Sparky, like it, the push could work out. The push could also fail, but it should be fun. Zap King Tower. Not gonna zap the King Tower. Wait, the Goblin Giant. Um, Probably not going to do even as much as we got there. That was insane. That was a lot of damage. 
Go for heal spirit, depending on what he drops. Probably logs this, to be honest. Ooh, he messed up. He done messed up. I don't think the Sparky gets a hit, but sometimes it does. Maybe it does. Oh, it does. Wow, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Serendipitous. Should have zapped for guarantee. Still good. Go Mega Minion just to body block a little bit. Maybe we can go like Evo Barbs here. I don't know. I'm thinking like Evo Barbs left, likely. After we go Mega Minion and Sparky and everything in the right. Do this and see if we can do anything. I like switching up our offense just to see what we can get. You know, it's kind of fun. We didn't get much, but we got something. We can Evo Barb's directly on that. And then Goblin Giant with him. I think that's the play. Alright. Rage. We might be able to win. I don't know. Evo Barb's Goblin Giant does put in work. I do say so myself. Poison comes down. Wow, he's in a bad spot. The Mega Man also might even get like filled up a little bit more. Yeah, so I can probably just like zap cycle with um, Goblin Giants at the river. So when they're at like 200 HP, you can just go like Goblin Giant, like rage it, and then zap, and then rage it. That's what I'm gonna do here. I gotta stress about it, you know. And one more. We win. All it takes. GG. That was a good win. What do you guys think right now? We're doing pretty well, right? Like, we figured out a different deck, we found something pretty fun, and we're dominating out here. We only lost, like, a couple, two bad matchups in a row. But every, every, other than that, everything's been, like, light, pretty easy and fun, and yeah, we're, we're about to hit it soon. I mean, we're, like, three or four games off. Woo! All right, three more games. We can do it. I can sense it. What do you think you'd be doing uh, if you weren't playing CR and doing YouTube? I'd be doing something in finance. That's what I'd be doing. Something in finance. Don't you get tired of Clash Royale? Uh, sometimes. That's why I don't play it every single day, all the time, no matter what. Like, you know, I love Clash. It's my favorite game, and it is my main game. But I also like doing other things in life, too. Like, I like exploring. I like playing tennis. I like playing pickleball. A lot of different things in life that I like. So, you know, I like working out. I've been working out a lot more. So, you know, I, I do the things that I enjoy, and I don't stress too much about the things I, uh, when I don't want to. All right, so this guy's deck is not great into ours, even though he's going to have Electro Wizard. I think that's going to be the only card that's super scary. Nice! The Mega Minion hits the tower, too. I like this deck so much. Not even at a night out. Yeah, I don't drink in general. A um, couple reasons. Mostly health-related and then also uh, personality-wise. Like, I know that my grandparents, like, uh, a lot of the, my, my grandpa died because of alcoholism. So, uh, just because of my personality and how addicted I am to things. Like, I get really addicted or, like, really motivated to do things which is obviously really good when I'm working because obviously I can make a lot of progression. Like, you guys can see, right? There's not many people that record or stream or do as much as I do and also behind the scenes that you don't even see, right? Um, most YouTubers don't do that. Uh, I have this personality that I'm able to do things and I want to do things a lot if I like them. So, you know what the issue is? Uh, what if I like <laughs> drinking and then I just keep drinking and I just keep drinking? You know, that that's probably not the play for me then. So, something to consider. Like this... Uh, That's one of those things to just like know yourself and know your personality and know your limits. Uh, no one's asking why you look tired. Oh yeah, we didn't get that today. Yeah, genetic under eye circles. Um, you do you, bro. You, uh, if you don't like, you don't need. Yeah, that's how it should be. Hundred percent. I'm so sorry to hear about your gramps. Uh, it happened when I wasn't even like old enough to even know. So you know, I never really got to know him. Um, Pursuing the healthiest lifestyle you can? Yeah, usually. Not all the time, but 99% at the time, for sure. Alright, let's do this. We'll kite this to the other side, maybe. What the heck am I playing against right now, bro? Why does he have this? Why does he have lightning arrows with goblin... Like, like what? Like, how? Who are you, you animal? Alright, we obviously take tower, and then we probably don't get three crowns, so there's that. But seriously, what the heck are you doing? Alright, we're just gonna try to rage these up so then we can take out the tower ideally, but... 
Not looking great. Alright, we're just gonna rage this and I think I win. Nice! That was so freaking close, dude. I can't believe the guy had, like, Electro Wizard with Lightning and P.E.K.K.A. Like, come on, man. I, I'm out here with two cards to counter your Balloon. And what do they do? They both die to Lightning. <laughs> so, you know, just gonna throw it out there. Maybe don't have a P.E.K.K.A. for my Goblin Giant. An Electro Wizard and Golden Knight for my Sparky. And then a Dark Prince for my Sparky. And then a Lightning for both my Air Cards that I'm trying to counter your Balloon with. Maybe don't run that deck, bro. You know, maybe... Maybe you, you're just a little bit nicer to me, Clash Royale. Maybe you don't want to hard counter me. That was insane. That matchup was so bad. Uh, would you say you're religious? I never talk about religion or politics, and I never will on stream or on uh, any of that stuff. I stand very, very, very firmly that anything about religion and politics, it just divides people when we're just trying to enjoy life and have video games and have fun. There are time and places to talk about religion and politics, and I think they're extremely important to talk about. But at the same time, I don't think it's good for everyone to be talking about it because not everyone needs to, you know? I don't need to, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't want to ever divide people. I want Republicans and Democrats to be able to talk over a video game and just have fun without knowing what their, you know, what what worries or whatever problems they, they, uh, they think should be fixed. All right, let's keep going. Let's go, let's go. It's okay, guys. You don't have to, like, defend me or anything like that. Like, if someone asks, like, the similar questions, like, obviously, we don't respond to them. It's the same thing as the uh, level 16 stuff. Play 2.6 hog last game, please. Why you guys... All right. I've, I've read the 2.6 thing, like, 20 times today. That is insane. Y'all are too addicted to the 2.6. Y'all gotta understand that that is not a fun or good deck to play. It's actually super bad. I don't even make videos on it because, like... It's an outdated deck. Wow, that heal spear with a mega minion though, guys. Let's talk for a second. Clean or nah? Clean or nah? That heal spear cleaning up the skeleton barrel, healing up the mega minion so we could kill the mighty miner and the spear goblins. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful, baby. How long are you stream for normally? Usually around an hour. This one's like extra thick, extra long, extra good. Hey, do you miss Boston? Yeah, I really love Boston. Probably go back there uh, eventually. But I want to settle down. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, that was not good. Oh, that was a violation, man. Holy. My goodness. Damn. We're going to go for a rage here as well, and then we're going to clean it all up, and we'll go next. That's all she wrote, boys. That's all she wrote. Damn. Seriously. Extra thick. Um, Long streams come on to. Yeah, dude. I know. We got the, the longest streams out here. You guys, uh, you best believe that we will not disappoint you with quality content for an extended period of time. I still can't believe we have like 1,200 people still watching three hours later. You guys are all awesome. Seriously, thanks for being here. Um, if you guys are enjoying the stream as well, drop a like on it. It supports me for free. And then uh, it gets these videos out to more people so then I can do them more often. So then I can persevere and get through it every single time whenever we're tilted. Guys, I think we're one game away. Maybe we're one game away. This is the last game for Ultimate Champion. Believe in me, boys. And girls. And aliens. And everyone else that's watching. Let's get that last W. Mika, thank you for the, the $1. But yeah. Subscribe if you want to as well. Because I put out daily videos or live streams at 3 p.m. Eastern every single day. Who do you think is the greatest music artist of all time? I don't know, man. I don't really. Like, I like music. But I just listen to, uh, like, x -Kido. X Keto on YouTube, and that's it. I don't really vibe too much. Like, I don't listen too much in depth. All right, so we got a game against Javier, King Cobra MX. Definitely a pretty good clan. I think he's going to zap here, and I'll go for a Goblin Giant after the Barbarians connect to my tower. I guess not. 
I thought he would go for a zap. It's Pekka, though, which is interesting because I have not seen a Pekka player in a long time. Really remarkable that these guys still exist, you know? All right, we can go in for a Mother Witch here because it will end up cleaning up the World Ghost and then also go into the side that we want, which is always nice to see. Then I can have ample distractions here. Ish. How are we going to make this happen, dude? Look at that. All right, we can go for a Rage maybe, and then a Zap. Because <clears throat> if we can Rage up his stuff and then, like, have the Barbarian still stay alive, that's huge value. I think we just go in for a heal spirit so then the bandit dashes on that and then like stays near my tower and does not uh, hit it. Perfect. You guys saw that, right? You can clean up a bandit with a one elixir heal spirit in that situation at that health and it's so clean. Wow. Guys, we're playing well right now. Hell yeah. All right, we can cycle Mother Witch because it doesn't really matter. We fireballs are poisons and we've got Evo barbs and we just go goblin giant at the river. He might be down a lot of elixir. Like, he might be down a lot of elixir. He was down way more than I thought he was. We can do this with Mega Minion and then go in for a Rage as well to see if we can get some extra damage. It's always nice to be able to kill the Pekka here and then just continuously spam more stuff. Because with the Mother Witch, you're able to consistently get more value. Always exploring more avenues of value. Yeah, look at that. We get another pig. We're pigging out on the tower out here, boys. The big King Tower with a Firecracker. It would do way more damage than the, uh, than the Bandit. I think he realizes that I'm just going to go Evo Barbs on him. I'm literally just going to go Evo Barbs right now and everything dies. Unless he pre-fireballs and then gets like the best trade of his life, but... Okay, he did. Feels bad. I guess we're going to Rage here. We're going to go Mega Minion. And we're going to Heal Spirit on top of his P.E.K.K.A. And then I think that we might be able to kill the P.E.K.K.A. I hope we're able to kill the P.E.K.K.A. Didn't happen as well as we wanted, but it's still decent. We're going to Zap for one more hit. One more hit, one more hit. Didn't get it. Goblin Giant. It's a little bit risky, but... Probably the right play. We pull the ghost. Nope. Okay, we both lost our tower. That's really good. I'm glad that it like it ended up being that way. Because I thought like if I just lost my tower, I'd definitely be dead. Alright, this is so scary. Definitely one of the more sketchy games ever, because I, I need to be able to take its tower. The royal ghost that I wasn't able to pull actually lost me the game. I should have just like not worried about it, I guess. These firecrackers are mad annoying. Pekka is also going to stay alive, which is not good. Goblin Giant only gives us one hit. Really, really bad. He's going to Electro Wizard on this. Should lose, I think. Man, the Royal Ghost really shouldn't have done as much as it did. That was my bad. Um, arrows come through. Not that bad. Just do this, this, if we can cook a little, you know, if we can just cook a little. Arrows? Uh-huh. Just rage it up. I don't know. Hoping that we can get some damage. Literally just not looking that good, but we're already back to another Goblin Giant, so there's that. Maybe it is possible. I don't think so, but I have to try, you know? I'm gonna jump on my tower, I'm dead. Wasn't able to stop it in time. Ah, oh, dang it. That should have been a win, guys. My bad. Intense game? Yeah, that was a really intense one. Why are skeletons so small in CR? Are, were they all children? <laughs> they might just get, like, shrunk a little, man. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. They're tag about to upload a video about this deck. I know, I will. All right, we got to win two games in a row now. Let's go. I'm getting fired up right now. Doesn't happen very often where I get like super amped up to hit ultimate champion. But right now in this very moment, I want it. Yo, Mika, thank you for the dollar. Wishing you nothing but the best, bro. Thank you. Asserted dominance. Yeah, he played well. 
I could have won that. I could have won a lot of these games that I've played so far, but it is what it is. Everybody just go Mother Witch in the back because I don't want to wait around too long. I don't know what the rest of his deck is. Phoenix, okay, so probably going to be like a Golem deck or something along those lines. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, and maybe going for a Goblin Giant. So we can win the battle at the river. Kill Spirit for sure. Going for a Rage here just to get some extra value. Maybe keep our Mother Witch alive. Interesting Tornado. Tornado, Phoenix, Barbs. It looks like Golem to me. So if we're playing against Golem, he's going to have Electro Dragon. Not necessarily the easiest matchup in the world, but we do have the Evolved Barbarians. We do want to cycle them, though. Haven't been able to cycle them yet. So instead of Sparky, Evolved Barbarians are probably the best play. Yep, all right. We're going to go Evolved Barbarians plus Goblin Giant. Try to take the tower, and then also, after that, make, maybe, maybe make something happen here. Need the Barbarians. Give us value. We got Cannon Cart, though, which is really whack. Did not expect that. All right, we're just going to rage this up, try to get some extra damage. Maybe keep those Barbarians. I should have raged up the Barbarians, I think. If barbs don't take the tower, then that's foolish on my end, but he might. Okay. He loses the Electro Dragon. I can activate King Tower off of it, too. Do I eat the damage, or do I activate King Tower? I think we just eat it, because, like, I'd rather have three Elixir, to be honest. I'd rather have the Mega Minion for the offense that he's about to do. I could probably need it, to be honest. Go for the Sparky and do that. The King Tower activation might be impactful, but it might not be. I just don't know. I do know one thing that I need is Aptus, so then I don't lose. Then I can go in for these. I think we're fine. Alright, so the Mega Minion is going to be able to kill the rest of the Cannon Cart. Guys, I am so focused. Can you tell? Can you see it in my eyes? Can you see it in my voice? Can you feel it? I am fully focused right now. My goodness. I don't want to lose this game. I'm not losing these next two games. I'm going to win these games. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, we're going to go for a Sparky. I think we clean that up. And maybe go in for, like, Barbarians? Dude, we've been trying for three hours. We're going to do it. We can sense it. All right. One, uh, one out of two complete. Next one, our opponents are still going to be able to taste defeat. Let's go. Focus on certain... Yeah, dude, we got it. We got it. I feel the sweating tin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why do you use Rage in your deck? Because it enhances the Evolved Barbarians, the Sparky, the Goblin Giant. It works really well. You need to clash after drinking a two CO2 Espresso Coconut Water? Yeah, I guess so. All right, here we are. Heal Spirit, test the water, see what he's going to do. Want him to spend some Elixir here. Be nice. All right, great. That's three piggies? Two piggies? We'll see. I think two. Yeah, just two. Executioner. Okay. Probably going to end up being Hog Rider Executioner with Rocket. So let's just go Goblin Giant on the other side. Force out Elixir. Go Barbarians directly into this Hog Rider. God, Inferno Dragon. Wait, what? I mean, I could spend a lot of Elixir here. I just decided not to because I, I didn't trust myself because if I went in at the wrong point... I would have taken way more. So I take around a thousand damage um, with the skeletons from the graveyard. I think that's okay. We can heal spirit here and we can go and pull the Inferno Dragon slightly. It doesn't do as much. No way he freezes with that. So we'll just zap if that's the case. But we know that if we're playing against Graveyard and we've got Mother Witch, we have a distinct advantage. This is the match for Ultimate Champion. I need it. I need it. I need it so bad right now. Come on. Come on, guys. All right, we're Sparky in the back. He doesn't have Evolved Knight. It didn't show up. What do you guys think? I've still been here all stream. Your content is number one in the world to me. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Thanks, man. That means a lot. Seriously, for real. He's a homie. All right, we can go Goblin Giant, and then we can go in for a Zap, and he's probably not going to be really ready for that. Uh, the Strats, the Strats. The finesse. Oh, he re really went in for a Freeze on me like that, too. Kind of hopeful that the Sparky would do more, but it's fine. I'd rather not overcommit here. He's going to be down a lot. If he goes in for a bad graveyard, it would be funny. It would be catastrophic for him. It would actually be GG. Alright, we're going to go Heal Spirit just to see. Ah, he went Barbro anyway. Dang, that sucks. It's a bad Heal Spirit. Alright, I think we do this. Just see what we can do. Maybe we can force out a Freeze or something.
All right, we take tower and then we also defend. That was an amazing position of the Mother Witch spawning the pigs. Guys, we kept the Mother Witch alive and then his towers took a dive and now we're going to continue to thrive. 30 seconds remaining. We just got to hold on. We can't throw this game. Not throwing this match. Got this. All right, Inferno Dragon's coming down. It's a little bit annoying. We know we could Graveyard Freeze at any moment. Graveyard Freeze is always a nuisance. Constantly a problem. Great bar, bro. Amazing Knight. Go for this. All right, he freezes. He doesn't actually hit anything. The Executioner is gone. We win. We win. Let's go. You guys love to see it. I love to see it. We made it happen. We were not Ultimate Champion for the longest time, and then uh, we got it. <laughs> Just like a very quick string of games at the end. We struggled so much at the start, and then we popped off at the end, and that's how it works, you know? Sometimes you don't understand what you're supposed to do, and if you just play it through and you don't get too tilted or too upset, you can still make the outcome that you want. So definitely not the best win ratio I've ever had in my life, but it was also very early season when I was recording a lot of videos, and I was trying to record late at night, and I was a little bit stressed. It just didn't work out. But at the same time, guys, look at that. We did it. <laughs> I don't know where we are right now in the leaderboard. I think we're like top 3,000 or something, so I'll be recording a lot of videos after. But yeah, let's go. Pretty early season. Got ultimate champion. Uh, tried a ton of different decks. And just to show you guys again, the last deck that I would use, this one with uh, Sparky is so unbelievably unfair. The fact that you're able to just turn the tide of the battles really quick and just win games with massive momentum shifts. You can play poorly. You can mess up. Sometimes you'll play against people that beat you that would just outplay you like Javier did here. But... For the most part, we won almost all of our matches, um, unless you count like the two matches where someone ended up having guards, Ice Spirit, and then random Minion Horde, and then the Royal Giant with like the Fisherman Dark Prince, which is like you never see Dark Prince and a Fisherman in a Royal Giant deck anymore. It's always like Royal Ghost, but this guy had it, and you know sometimes stuff like that happens. And we were struggling a lot at the start because my mental just wasn't there and wasn't able to figure it out, wasn't able to play well, and played against people like this. Early season, you're going to be playing against top 163 players in the world. You're going to be playing against people that are like this guy where, you know, they're just insanely, uh, maybe not that guy. Where was he? Um, we played against a ton of people that were top ladder that I, I just remember like looking at their names and being like, wait, why are we playing against you guys? Why are you so good? What What's going on? But yeah, anyway, if you went through the stream, you would see that everyone that we played against was pretty good at Clash and... Um, it was interesting because I, I thought that uh, after we waited, you know, we, we didn't do this first week of the season. We've done it like a little bit later. We wouldn't be playing against as many top 200 players. But yeah, check out the pinned comment for another full video if you guys want to see um, on the Magic Archer deck when I actually played a little bit better. And um, that video will be down below in the pinned comment. Uh, and it shows the best Knight Evolution deck in Clash Royale and how to play it. It is the Magic Archer one that we were playing earlier. So this one is awesome. It's just a little bit harder to play, especially when you've been playing for three hours. You want to take a focus uh, break <laughs> and then come back to it because this deck requires a little bit more patience, a little bit more understanding of intricate placements, and you need to play well. But yeah, um, like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more daily videos. No matter what you guys are doing for the rest of the weekend, I hope it's an amazing one. Or I guess, you know, maybe you guys are on Monday now. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you have an amazing start to your week. Peace, love, and positivity. I'll see you guys in the next one. And stay tuned for more streams and more videos at 3 p.m. Eastern every single day. See ya.